Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audibletrial.com slash continue show. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Today, we're recommending The Crying of Lot 49 by Thomas Pynchon. It's got stamps and conspiracy theories and hipsters. I don't know. It's cool. Check it out. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash continue show. This is Continue Cast. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Continue Cast, the twice monthly podcast where we play a video game and let you know if we would continue or game over. My name is Paul and I'm Hi. not laughing at Josh's silly faces. Oh, I'm making silly faces too. My name is Nick. <laughs> You're like a gremlin now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, hey, <laughs> curse, <the nerve. laughs> Podcast. Nick's an old gypsy woman and I'm Luke. <laughs> uh, and, he's like, and we again have two very special guests with a special guest one. Go ahead. I'm um, special guest one. They already know you're here. My secret talent is I can do things. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. What's the, what's the name of that show where you had to guess the figure it out? No, Thanks, that's the Nickelodeon version of the show, the real show. Miss figure it out. I think there's like a 70s. It was a 70s show. Yeah, with the yeah. bad comedian. Uh, Charles, Charles Nelson, Nelson Riley. Riley. <laughs> no. Charles, Charles, Lynn and Paul Charles, Lynn. Charles Nelson Riley was on the show where you had a, yes. a thing and you had to get the same word that they, that they were going to write Password. Down. Password. 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 Oh, yeah. What the hell? No, he no. was also on the other show. Yeah, he was on, oh, he was on the other show. Oh, oh, oh. Charles, Charles Nelson Riley. The gong Riley. show? Is that what you're talking about? No, no not the gong show. Here is what I want to know. How do you guys know so much about 70s? Contest Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Yeah. On. Hi, I'm Mike. Thanks for introducing me, Paul. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, all. I mean, well, George Clooney's best well, work. I know about it from, from watching it. Yeah, I was yeah. How did you watch it? Game Show Network. The Game Show oh, Network and VH1. It's classic television. And also game. Saturday Night Live in the 90s when Alec Baldwin would play that yeah. character. Yeah. Uh, What's interesting is like in the 70s, yeah. A and B list actors or entertainers would do what they did best, and that's entertain people in any right. medium they could. What? Mm-hmm. It wasn't just a matter of like yeah. being like in a movie once a year. It's right. like they would go out and do the circuit. Like Center Square, Center Square for the Win, Paul Lynn. Dude, right. did yeah. you know? Paul Lynn was in, in, in top okay. grossing box office movies and also... Go ahead, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and also was the Center Square. Uh, in, in Canada, they still have Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares is like super good show it's called Saskatchewan. in Saskatchewan. Is that what it's called? Yeah, super I, good show? No, no. It's like it like does really well. It's oh, Ryan Reynolds I, on I it. wish it was called yeah. Super Good Show. That's I think what I, I was going to say was, was more interesting. Hollywood Squares. Like, do they, I, don't, I mean, Canada doesn't have a Hollywood, so I don't think it's... Can, Canadian so Hollywood no, no, is Vancouver. Vancouver Squares, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tiananmen Squares. That's the one I'm talking about. <laughs> I watched oh. that one. Center Square the lit reason, itself on fire. The <laughs> reason why Canada has Hollywood Square still is because everything Canada has is forever trapped in the 90s. It's mm. because they can't get Alex Trebek back. Dunkaroos. They Hockey. Still have oh, Hockey. Dunga- Dungaroos? I got those. Flannels. Uh-huh. Other generic Canadian Kirk stereotype. Run Rock. Rock. Yeah. Right. You ought to know. Am I I'll fill in for time till Nick comes up with something? I'm Come looking on. for something. Hold on. Just, just keep... <laughs> Just to keep introducing yourself. I for just 10 want to minutes. know if Ryan Reynolds. Oh, I'm, is I'm Mike. There. Still, I'm special guest number one. I'm number two. My special talent is being second to you, Josh. You know, if there's more special guests than actual talent, we run the show. Yeah, it's not gonna happen though. All right, we'll huh? see. We'll see. Wait, we oh, it's the we'll match see. game, not Hollywood Squares. Match, 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 match game. Match game. It's still on. No, the match game Kermit's is on the one with Charles game. Nelson Riley. <laughs> Matt, dude, it's that crazy. was the match game. <laughs> it's me, Gilbert Gottfried. Password. Password is the one where you sit there and you talk to the person and they're like, "Uh, the password is." Yeah. yeah, and the password is you're gu- duck, and then you can't say duck, and, <laughs> then, say and duck, then Kristen yeah. Wiig always goes, and then I ducked. Oh, I said the word again. <laughs> no, dude, they did that sketch a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say to me? Nothing. Yeah, There's too much going on here. There's so many yeah, threads. Right. Well, this is a train wreck gotta, already. Yeah. Tie them all up. Oh, hang yeah. on, before you do that, yeah. Let me say this. Welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi Paul. How you doing? Thanks for Somebody, having uh, Paul. Thanks for having us at Luke's house. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody corrected me uh, when I was posting that thing to Normal Boots about the podcast and describing our podcast. 
I listed, you know, the, the, the three of us and special guests, very special guest Luke Brown. Right. And oh, they were and they like, said that I uh, was. actually, Josh is a special guest. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. You are correct. That's they know correct. our show better That's than That's canon. Yeah. 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 Some guy on Twitter was like, hey, you got to change that. Oh, yeah. On yeah, fucking iTunes. I was like, I guess you're right. I'm not the co-host anymore. Oh, crap. We're going to go. There's so many points that we have to change that at. It's not happening. Yeah. Sorry. We just got to change know. the retro part on iTunes. We That's true. We've kind of moved, moved on. Well, Luke yeah. can never call out sick. Because this is his house. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> we'll just go up to his bed and just like put a microphone in front of him and be like, here, you're on the show. You're the special, and you're the special guest now. Yeah. No, if I'm still on the if show, still then still here, I'm... yeah. To break the streak, Luke's house would have to burn down. That's true. Well, we can arrange wow. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get like... It's gonna get like mafia level try- people trying to become like not yeah. special guests. Not special guests yeah. anymore. Yeah. No, no. Well. Pull over a blanket one day. My microphone's gonna be there with the head. <laughs> you have the head cut off. Just, just the tip. The pop filter is just yeah. sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a really wintry couple of weeks here in Pennsylvania. I want to talk about it. Um, we don't want to talk about it too much. But I got this email that I wanted to read because it. Tied in with that email uh, real short. that Paul <laughs> wants to read at the beginning of the show. Yeah, we gotta get the format back because I like this. I like this stuff. Well, this is what the, the, the job of the special guest is. To yeah, do this. yeah. To do I like bumps. I like more of this. More of this stuff. The so, stingers. Yeah, Netflix, yeah. Make more a, of this. this. <laughs> <laughs> make, make a format that we go by. We had that. We had <laughs> make, that. But. Make it a format that make, we could go. By. Josh, we had make that. a format. Be funny. Fill the whole show. <laughs> go ahead. We had that. You just fill when I don't want to talk. Go. We, hold on real quick. We I had that. that on him. We had a format, but then you guys were like, let's just talk about everything forever. No, hang on. Format no, was hang gone. On. We wanted to talk about everything because we were fucking busy as shit. Hang that's on. why we That's why we. Don't you try to that. pass that buck I'm a part of it. anybody else. I'm a part of it. Because you are the buck. You're the George during, Washington of that buck. During that time, <laughs> yeah, right? I, was, I was the special guest, and I had no right. vote. And he had more work than we did. And that was <laughs> yeah. that was on your shoulders, Paul. Right. Wow! All, All right. we had to do was say the lines we read forty thousand times. This dude was like breaking kneecaps to get us in the bars at three o'clock in the morning. Paul, we're talking about acting now. Oh, we're talking about smart guys. We're talking about acting, Paul. Listen, the way it's been made out to me since the beginning is that you're the quarterback of this team, man. So you know, yeah, man, you Black got reel it in. Later. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a run first offense. You want to okay? you want to? I do not run this I'm thing. All right, just throw me a ball, baby. Yeah, <laughs> RG three in it. Go ahead, Paul. Let's see it. I just I just I'm standing back. I mean, and you want to hand the ball? You want to Manning this this game? I just hand the you ball. You want to Manning this yeah, game? Is that what you want to do? Want Trish and Jay wrote in. Uh, <laughs> he said, <laughs> "Oh, dude, there it is. There, yep, there yep, it is. It is. Yeah. It's, yep. I'm it, taking I'm taking charge here. Take it all back. I respect the shit out of you. Hey, continue, guys. Hey." Wanted to, this is just a, an act of, of pure fanhood, pure fandom. Mm. Wanted to say that I love the show and podcast. I don't have the internet right now, so I'm actually outside getting Wi-Fi in the snow to download the podcast. Wait, how's he getting Wi-Fi week? in the snow? Does don't snow know. come in Wi-Fi now? Don't know. <laughs> it's Canada. They're progressive. Oh, dude, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, Universal health internet. He wanted to add in. Also, don't worry, Josh. I love fantasy fiction too, especially when guests are on. Yeah, Josh, don't oh. worry about it. Especially <laughs> when, so you don't like it as much when it's <laughs> just me and Dom? regular. No, no. No, doesn't. you should worry about it oh, when you don't have a special one guest. Fan? <laughs> 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 Jesus. He uh, right. he did send a picture too of him out in the snow okay. downloading it. Download. I guess I guess maybe he didn't get cell phone reception. In his I house. need more. Um, Information on how he's getting Wi-Fi. And we where do. He's, he's so he's outside and he's got a fucking Wi-Fi divining rod and he's just trying to oh, find shit. that shit. Was, was it like Die Hard Four where he like <laughs> has that cell so phone it. and he's just like, "Look, man, there's this whole network of satellite phones that we can get on Dude. to find out what's happening." You know what? Oh, the it internet. Was the, it was the deep. Net. Was it? The, was was it he was going on deep net. Yeah. Yeah. Going yeah. on deep internet web too. Yeah, you guys <laughs> been on that man? HTML. It's uh, that's back on HTML one. <laughs> Still on HTML. IRC. Yep. <laughs> okay. You want to download some newfound glory videos? <laughs> yeah, Let's do, do it. An NFG MIDI. That's what you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's what you got. Dude, first. I remember downloading MIDI's <laughs> being like, oh, so I'm many. listening to the song right hey, now. This is great. I had four floppies worth, guys. Guys, I have music on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I remember listening to Damn It by Blink-182 yep. MIDI and being dude. like, it's almost as good as the real thing. It's yeah. like the real song. Dude, play Doom. Mm-hmm. Loaded up some fucking Metallica midis and yeah. replaced the music yeah. files. That's with the that. game. That's the game, dude. Great. Mm-hmm. I, I had a zip disc and it had four Metallica songs on it on MP3 <laughs> in 1998. Old. This is how old we it are. It may have been 99. when I went to college. They made us buy zip disks because you need yep. it. You need to put it. Your our star. files on, yeah. like our Illustrator <laughs> it's files and Photoshop. Hundred megabytes, yeah. Josh. Yeah. Oh. Hundred of That's speaking so megabytes. One disc was one project. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> megabytes are a million bytes. Speaking of old, this game that we played has there a moment where they is. burn you 
yeah. a disc in it. Yes, they do. Uh, yep, and in, that's the height if four, of four, technology. Four hundred years right. in the future on another planet. Yeah. Is <laughs> height of Man, technology. A long time ago, galaxy far, far away. Exactly. That's right. It's Star fantasy. Wars. Yep. Star Wars. We're so, talking about Beyond Good and Evil today, guys. Are we? Sweet. We are. Oh, is that the game we played? Did I played know? Binding of Isaac again. Oops. <laughs> did you know that in order to qualify at PAX as a podcast, you have to introduce yourselves within the first 30 seconds? Really? Wow, really? Yeah. What? Well, looks like you guys aren't going to PAX. <laughs> we did it. We, we do. We, we do. We, we do. do. I know. It, just, it's, it was a rarity. <laughs> That's true. No, you're right. we normally do. Yeah, Paul goes through a spiel, the and then thing. we go around. We're, yeah. we're good. It was longer before because before I would do the whole stupid thing and talk about what we were going to play <laughs> and all that stuff, and then we'd I be like, "Okay, now we'll talk about." Yeah, our we're names. good. We're pro. We we can do it. Where's this rule at? Where's this it's at? It's on their like media registration site. Like, if you want to qualify as a podcast, to what come does to the that show even as mean? A podcast. Mm. Jesus, because if you don't have a website or if you're not an actual journalist, but yeah, you have you... like a, a a podcast, you right. can go. And, but then you know, one of the qualifications is yeah. There's a qualifications like, for us too. Like there's like a subscriber. <laughs> oh man! It was like I hope that picked you have, up. You have to fart within the first five minutes of the podcast. <laughs> Luke just We're lifting. Fine. Luke lifted alternating legs to fart and just to create like a harmonizing choir of, was, of gaseous was, emissions from his ass. It was it like was a wake from a boat, like a speed <laughs> movement. Like, oh my god! Dude, that was, it was so like once awesome. upon a time in the west. <laughs> Luke, it smells like baby powder. It's just reaching, <laughs> it's it's just now reaching Dude, me. Wait, but seriously, <laughs> the origin of the harmonica? Yeah, heartbreaking. What? Go what? On. In that movie? In that, yeah. I don't know. What oh it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it? A guy, a guy farts from one side to the other, <laughs> and it kills his whole family. Uh, Charles Bronson plays like the harmonica all yeah. the time, and uh, you know, throughout the movie, you've, he's like going back and forth. You find out that like they hanged his brother. But like he was playing the harmonica while like standing on Charles Bronson's leg. So as soon as Charles right. Bronson moved, yeah. he, his brother died, and then you knew because the harmonica stopped playing. Did you know that there is an unofficial prequel to that movie? To Once Upon a Time in the West? Yeah. Really? Is it yeah. Does it have Claudia Cardellini in it? Because I'd like to see her. No. More oh, than Once Upon a Time in New York. Yeah. Does it have Johnny Depp? No, with Once Upon a no Time in America. <laughs> that's that's, that's America. the shitty America. fake sequel. And America. didn't Robert Evans produce that and it ruined his career? He made that documentary. It's great. Mario Puzo. I know. It's like that's like. You know what's funny about that movie? What's the prequel? I think it's called like Red Sun. It's got a samurai in it. Okay, Uh that's cool. And Charles Bronson is in it playing that character. And at the end of that movie, he's at the train station with the get out. Yeah, and it's that's where that movie starts. Well, Josh, I know we're doing this weekend. Shit, I fucking love Once Upon a Time in the West. Yeah, let's watch it. I never knew that. That's like one of my I, favorite movies ever. I like that he called Once Upon a Time in America, New York. It's New York, though. It takes place it's in it. New York. It takes place it, in New York. Is it Peter Fonda? Am I thinking of the Cotton Club? Yes. Yeah. Once Upon a Time in, Amer- in America oh, is considered shit. a good right, movie. Man. Wow, where'd he go? I, 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 I think I might sometimes. be thinking of the Cotton Club. I think you're thinking of another movie because it wasn't a... It was Once Mario Upon a Time Puzo. in America is like critically... I don't think it was, was it? That's that's the Cotton Club. Then I have it all fucking twisted. I'm sorry. Once Upon a Time in America is the one with the... Sergio Leone. right? Sergio Leone, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, this I got it all fucked up. Right? Yeah, he's in it. Yeah. Nope, I'm wrong. It smells like fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it smells like a baby's fart. Apologies to no one. Good thing this isn't smell vision am I right? Yeah, we did get these new Nick, mics. stop that. Sorry. <laughs> it's not radio right. friendly, dude. I love you. So uh, you want to go into some where, vital where stats? Do the bump. Vital stats. Uh-oh. These are the vital stats. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how many stingers per podcast do you have to do to get into pads? Yeah. <laughs> must have five stingers. They must all be done in ca- in in mic during First the show live. They're all they're all diegetic stingers. Yeah, yeah. Di- di- diegetic, diegetic stingers. Dude, dude you gotta get a uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Michael Laszlo. Who is the guy from the Police Academy? Michael yeah. Winslow. Michael Winslow. Winslow. Michael Wins Laszlo. Carl Winslow. <laughs> Carl Winslow. <laughs> he has to do him. He has to do for him. Josh. The hel- Josh is a helicopter outside. Holy shit, guys! <laughs> Was Carl Winslow related to? Michael Winslow, and that's why they made Carl Winslow a cop. A cop? And from Chicago? Holy shit. You think so? Wait. Uh, there's an unofficial sequel to... I was just... <laughs> God. It's an unofficial prequel to uh, Family there's Matters is Die there's Hard. An, there's an unofficial sequel to Police Academy. It's called Police, Police Academy, Academy 4, Citizens <laughs> on Patrol. What's the one where they go to Russia? Seven? 
That is six. Five, like us. Six, six, seven. Six. 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 For me, it goes from like four to like yeah. I started seven at, or something because they were the ones that could play on MT on uh, on uh, Comedy like, Central. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other ones are like hard R's and they couldn't one, play them on one TV. Has like an elderly man getting a blowjob. So that one. <laughs> oh, behind the podium. <laughs> three, three is they go to Miami, right? Four is Miami. That's Reno. Four is Miami. So three is Citizens on <laughs> yeah. Patrol. Yeah. Whatever ones have Bobcat Goldthwait because one Bobcat Goldthwait. One and one he's the bad guy. And then the, and the movie right after that, yeah, they, he's, they, a cop. he's a cop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember when you could get away with shit like that in movies, like in all the Star Trek movies? How like from one Star Trek movie to the next, like an actor would be like, he's like, I'm a Klingon, and then all of a sudden he was like on, on like the Federation like council. Well, they would like, just the switch. Next... Like the actors would just be like, we like Star Trek. They pay us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. they did it with Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. They did that in Beyond Good. And who Evil, who did they do in Ghostbusters? Right? Uh, which I'm gonna call it. He's Rick not Moranis. really the bad. Rick Moranis isn't really the bad he's guy, but the he's bad the guy? he's the vessel for the bad guy. Well, no, but I mean, movie. I mean, they would they would use the same actor for different characters in movies that would be sequels to one another. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> From like that. four to five, it'd be like, oh, well, you played this character in this movie, but now in this one, you're this yeah, guy. And yeah, Peter Weller was Murphy in one, and then in the sequel, he was Buckaroo Banzai. It was really dude, it was crazy. really crazy. <laughs> he went through that mountain. It was fucking nuts. Oh my god! Shout out to Chris Buke who loves Buckaroo Banzai more than anything on the planet. <laughs> uh, this game was released in uh, November 2003, but there was an HD remix in 2011. What did you guys play? I played the 360 version. I played, oh. yeah, Xbox. Uh, Xbox. I did too. I played the HD. I'm the only idiot the that original? bought it. I played the original. I, I, That's what I did. I own the original. Oh, you played it the original Xbox version. on the on yes on the original Xbox. Wow. No, I played it on the 360 though. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is moving. I'm sorry. You're hitting it. Everybody stop. <laughs> uh, I actually bought it for the PC. The PC. Not worth it. Right click, left click. Wow. Because yeah. the whole game's two buttons. It's stupid. Yep. It's stupid. I've heard. It's the dumbest thing. I've heard. Uh, but I, I'm still playing Jesus. it that way. I, because it's so old that they don't even have Xbox controller support for it. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. You can just make your own. Yeah. Just program your buttons, dude. Program buttons, and I gotta do work. Then I'm part. Then I'm making the game. Nah, you then bought, I'm the developer of the I game. I bought the game to play it, not to, not to, not to fix it. Yeah. Right, Paul? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you Thank you. That's what you get. PCs are the master class, right, guys? Yes, indeed. Wait, what? <laughs> PC, ma- PC master race. Luke, I don't have time for your pro Aryan computer <laughs> language. <laughs> Here we go with this again. Uh, uh, develop- the Uber mention of PCs over here. <laughs> Developed by uh, Ubisoft Montpellier. Oh, Ubermensch. Uber Mensch. Uber Mensch. Uber Mensch. Uh, yeah, this Michael- game is French as shit. Yeah. Let's get Mich- oh, yeah. Mikhail Ansel uh, is the lead developer on it, and he's coming back for the sequel that's coming out. Yeah, there's that teaser, right? If- yeah. If it ever happens, I was reading on the Wikipedia, th- Wikipedia today, and they were saying that it's happening. Yeah, that they stopped because he made Rayman, the Rayman series, the Rabbit series, I loved it. and he stopped working on the sequel for this to work on Rayman, Rayman. Legends. Yes. When did and they? Then they came out with another Rayman after that. Mm-hmm. Well, he we stopped to work on Rayman Origins. Then he worked on right. Rayman Legends, right. which just came out. Now he's got all this free time in the world, but I doubt that Beyond Good and Evil is ever going to happen. When was that teaser? footage when was that two that years was like ago? a leak wasn't it no that was forever and ever ago yeah i, I thought i remember that being that was like, game we revision were, days yeah, it was like game revision days old. i don't even remember them releasing the re- the remix of this or the remake on the klaxon <laughs> but yeah no i i uh i'm so glad that like people can like get it on the arcade like cheap because it's a fun game it's like it's a callback to another era of gaming. Oh, absolutely. It's a decade um, old, and that doesn't seem like that old. I really enjoyed but... playing Star Wars, Star Fox, <laughs> and Legend of Zelda all mixed together. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're going to talk about another era of gaming yeah, soon, because I'm about my, to talk about I'm that. I'm trying to do that transition Wait, for you, Paul. 2003. Yeah. What other games came out in that year, Paul? So, uh, 2003? Star Wars, Knights of the Old well, Republic. I got, I got a whole itinerary to talk about about games that came out then. Luke, you ready for that? Well, then go ahead. Take it away, Mike. Because I, I don't want, actually, down. I want Paul to go first. Let's, let's, uh, it's, oh, it's ten yeah, and a half hours. Stats, ten and a half anyway. hours, time to beat. We're done with Vital Stats. Vital Stats over. <laughs> ten hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call bullshit. This that's, is closer to 15. That's more than that. Because of the puzzles. It feels well, yeah, more com- than there's like yeah. to beat, and then there's like completion. Right. That's probably more speed run. 10.5. <laughs> no, they have speed run times that are separate. They do, actually. Yeah, okay. Well, oh, Jesus Christ. All Jesus, right. Mike, <laughs> just talk. Paul, go. Paul, go. I, I, I want to hear what you, What other games came out this so, year. So, uh, this game came out in a really interesting lull uh, as far as like when games were released. Uh, th- uh, third-person platformers or third-person mm-hmm. action-adventure games being released mm-hmm. on the next-generation consoles. This game was released... Um, <laughs> concur, thank you, Luke. This game was released uh, almost simultaneously with um, 
uh, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. Which what? For, everybody knows for, that game. Which yep. for every, anybody who doesn't know, that sounds was, like a terrible was Paul the, W. S. Anderson, the largest remake. steaming pile of shit that okay, may have so ever been accurate, that, yeah. that yeah. may have ever been tagged with a triple A, you know, whatever branding was title, or whatever. Tomb Raider it was it was definitely the worst Tomb Raider, and also it was the last Tomb Raider, or the, excuse me, the first Tomb Raider since Chronicles, which was the um, post mortem on Lara Croft's life after she died in Last Revelations. Oh my god! This so is this crazy. hear me Way out. Too much information. Hear me out. So. Uh, this was uh, Angel of Darkness was also the first for, foray that Crystal Dynamics did with um, uh, Tomb Raider on the next generation of consoles on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Okay. It was a much it was uh, no, PlayStation, actually, PlayStation Two. It was only PlayStation Two. It was a much anticipated title. Everybody was like foaming at the or uh, foaming tits. at the tits for it. Yeah, foaming at the tits, at the tits yeah. for it. For this game and no for the Angel of Darkness for Tomb okay, Raider right, and right, that right. game in the, because this game is the better version oh, of man. everything that game wanted to be except for the yeah but this game post got 90s, the guns post 90s goth exactly this game didn't have the promise of tits or guns so nobody bought it and it was an enormous commercial flop and unfortunately for anybody who didn't play it then it was the just the better game this game also introduced a, a handful of um i won't want to say mechanics i think that's an overused word i'm probably not using it correctly just this game introduced a lot of concepts as far as the way the player would interact with the game right because there's different like menus um there's different the radial menus which were which also yeah, reared their, cool. uh, which that they that reared their head in uh freedom fighters and i hated them in freedom fighters no they were great in freedom i didn't like them in Wait, freedom fighters what do you mean Ra- the, the the menus you go through you have to use the analogs to move through mm-hmm. Oh, like where well, you have to like hold tools. the direction to like you know like, like when get you enter passcode. Right, right. Oh, I, you know, oh you dude, that's around. the coolest thing. Yeah, right, dude, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, cool so it introduced shit. that, which was cool. You could. Uh, I know this is going to sound weird, and I may have picked this up in a game review somewhere, but I'm almost certain this is. I'm almost positive this is true. I think this was the first 3D third-person platform adventure game where you could freely attack more than one enemy at a time, where you didn't have to lock on an enemy. And also this game predated, even though it came after Mark of Kree, which sort of introduced the mechanic, this game predated God of War. So this game is free of quick time events, which is a incredible, incre- Luke knows how, how I feel about that, but this, it's an incredible, like just little, tiniest little sliver in time, late yeah. 2003 to 2004 when God of War came out in 2005, mm-hmm. and when quick time events just overtook this this genre or anything that was sort of like in the vein of this game. Even I, um, I Ninja, which was a great 3D platformer or third person platformer that I loved, sort of had quick time event type action in it of where the monsters did too. It would just cue you like press this button now. Right, right. This game doesn't do that. The combat's very simple. Uh, it, it's right. Hit things because it's, it's, second, it's secondary yeah. to everything else in the game. Exploring, solving puzzles, racing. taking photographs, getting jam- uh, pearls, pearls. Uh, racing, and well, the real comments. quick, okay. real quick, yeah. How far have we? Pl- Let's talk about how far we played. Everybody, tell how far they played because I've I beat it way back when. Okay, I didn't play as far as everybody else did this time. Yeah, we played up to the right like before the Nutra Pill Factory yeah, invasion. I didn't play it that far. I only put about an hour and a half. I only got like that's fine. That's fine. But I just want to say where we are because you're saying I started racing, then I came here. Okay, all right. It, you talk about all the puzzles and things like that. They become haven't really gotten to any strict puzzles yeah, right now. Like one or two. Everything's like really like they're like the same. Pretty. They're the same breadcrumb type puzzles that uh, the original Tomb Raider had. It was get this, bring this here, return this until this works. Yeah, and then right. mine. You do find a little this, bit of that. do that. It's okay. it's not. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. no, go no, no, go ahead. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were about to talk. Uh, in that mind, you do some of that stuff. There's some like minor puzzle stuff. That's what really I'm saying. But it's much. but it's but it's super. What I'm saying is it's like very obvious. Like it, ne- it never took me more than like 30 seconds to go. Okay, that's yeah. the thing. I got to do the thing. The only thing that took me a second. I was like, oh, I can make the dude do the jump. He doesn't have to be near that fucking plant thing. Right. I can just make him do the jump and, and it then pops the it thing. out. And the only thing I got stuck on. This game did a really good job at the beginning of introducing you to all the different like like. Uh, you know the different ways of like uh, different parts of the gameplay, like the pictures and mm-hmm. the fighting and all stuff like that. It, yeah. They they hand, like handhold you through that whole thing pretty well. I got stuck at one point, and that was when you're supposed to push the box next to the uh, right. things to, yeah. to power the the generator up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, like because they they don't do a good job of contextualizing when you're supposed to hit stuff really well. You got to be worse. right. Dude, does it <laughs> not worse it's just it's more of the same you gotta get right up against something and then at like the last second it's like oh now's the time you can now hit you the don't. thing yeah. yeah and it's like this game is uh, but you keep like having to call the guy but sometimes like, H? you're like oh I'm gonna call the guy over Paige yeah I'm gonna call oh, the Paige, big huh? dude over but that's only to like do certain things like not push things right he just like does he just 
Yeah. <laughs> Your daddy died real good. <laughs> good. Uncle Wait, Pigma. I always want to call him Quark because Double H is his like, name. Yeah. Quark. Yeah, no, no, her sidekick. Oh, yeah. Sa- yeah. Sagun- Sagundo. 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 But they call him Secundo. Yeah, can we talk Cause, about that? Because it's because you're easing your sack on your side. Your I thought it was Sporticus. Yeah, he's he's gay Sporticus. He's gay that's Sporticus. that's exactly yeah, what he dude. Is. So like, I love him. So I was trying to like place all he's this sassy. stuff because he's like, he yeah, he's very sassy, very Hispanic. Because he's speaking Spanish, Latino, Nick. but then he speaks like <laughs> French. Uh, th- yes. sometimes, yeah. right? So, like, can we talk about like that? <laughs> well, that's the, the whole thing. They, like, they call that mixed race. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I like mulatto. I believe is the politically correct term. Nick. I like definitely that part of it. Correct. Like for that, mm. that really like set this world. I'm like, oh, it must be in the future where all these languages are kind of like merging it's together very and like Firefly. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That, yeah. I, fun, that's yeah. one of the notes I wrote down. I was like, oh, there's like Firefly. This is great. We didn't yeah. talk about the story. We should talk about the Dave, story. It, it's, this world is fucking bonkers. Yeah. Because it is fucking bananas. It's just yeah. every Star Wars prequel world. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like, it's hey, crazy. you know what would be cool? Uh, this here. Hum- uh, humanoids. You know what would be great? Yeah. Jamaican rhinoceroses. Yeah. Dude, exactly. I, would, I, I was love like, the Jamaican rhinoceros. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Welcome to Mama's. <laughs> Dude, it's really... But that's the thing. It, uh, the voice acting in this game is second to none. No, it's fact, great. The whole yeah, world yeah. Second to none? <laughs> for, for the time period. If you mean... If by two, 2003, t- 10 years, 10 years yeah. ago, uh, the entire game... No, not nearly the entire game is is voice acted. Yeah, cutscenes. If you like, mean yeah. second shit. to no skill, <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. No. Paul, I yeah. find me another game that's voice acted like think... this at the time that wasn't just voice acting. I know. The cutscenes. No, no, no. It's funny because it's funny because you I, were challenging. No, I'm just <laughs> when I when I listened to the to the voiceover, I was like, this is horrible. And then I was like, <laughs> yeah, the voice the and I was like, and then I was like, remember, it's 2003. Remember, remember. It just see, started. It just started. It's and not... it was like a like a cheesy newscaster too. Was like when it started. Like, right it was off like, the bat, it was like Starship troopers i was like oh okay they gave me all the information i need sweet here yeah. we go and then mm-hmm. they tied it in with the story i think it Paige isn't bad uh and what's mean, jade isn't bad jade's great yeah. jade's great. good you mean laura uh, jade what's what's uh jody forrest is that her name the woman who does the picture lady yeah she's yeah, also yeah, the yeah. mayor the pokedex she's also the mayor know. pokedex the Poke- <laughs> she's bad she sounds like she would be on like a oh, like a harassment video yeah, yeah, that's what I like. yeah i've never seen one of these before it's like bitch you're a fucking scientist on this goddamn planet <laughs> no wonder you suck at science a live ghostly sapien impossible i'm not gonna hire a paparazzi to fucking go do national geographic shit like <laughs> fucking hire a professional. It wasn't. It, I mean, you know, like Soul Reaver was out around the same time, maybe like a year or two earlier, and right. that game had great voice acting. But again, the, there was all cutscene voice yeah. acting, yeah. and like this game had it in spades in the game. The whole game, you know, nice, had a whole yeah. cast. I kind of like bad. it. it I, I, I'll, yeah. I'll, I like it. I give it a check in that column. Yeah. What's well, like Sorry, the story? The it, for me, like... no, just for me. There's a lot of times where it really gets rough for mm-hmm. me, and I'm just like. Well, I mean, I'm you know being a professional voice actor yourself. Yes. Yeah, yes. you know yeah. what's up. I, I just spot the flaws <laughs> instantaneously. Paul, your game has fantastic voice acting. Yeah, I have no, to say, I agree. the game you made. Wow, that mm-hmm. argument is so dumb. It's, that's <laughs> why I'm saying it's it. the worst argument. <laughs> that's oh, why. I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not dishing it on you. I so, what's like the story? Like, what do we? So, what do we know about the so story? So, we open up. <laughs> On an Dom alien, I was gonna ask you, motherfucker, you took it. I'm like, Dom, uh, <laughs> got together. So this entire planet is suffering is suffering from uh, delayed onset muscle soreness. Soreness, soreness, soreness. Capital Z. Everybody's just, got taco neck. That's what it is. I, yeah. I just imagine they all Dom uh, has sex with a bunch of sea urchins <laughs> and they take over so a Dom. his his offspring <laughs> and like take over, take over a planet. The Dom have come. So uh, a bunch of a bunch of brine shrimps are attacking the world. <laughs> And uh, they can't get through your your uh, electricity barrier, except Pico shut dude, you down. Pico, Pico shut it down, dude. Pico dude, man, you didn't pay your bill. Down. Yeah, that's some real ass shit, dude. Mm-hmm. That's some real ass. You didn't shit. pay the dude, bill, my, dude. My lighthouse gets turned off all the time. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so you're getting you're getting bombarded by these little bug creatures. They come in, dude, and they kidnapped your fucking goat friend. All your goat mm-hmm. friends get tr- get knocked underground. <laughs> yeah, you almost get hentai raped right away. Right like, away. Right yeah. away. Yeah. Right away. Yep. <laughs> yeah, then your pig guy comes. You kill all the monsters because you're not only are you a good meditator but a good fighter you got a bow staff mm-hmm. you got a little bit of bow I don't know how good at meditating they are they're doing a lot of bullshit when they're doing <laughs> arms swinging and it's like yeah. what the fuck is that shit they're doing sitting Tai Chi god <laughs> in the future you sit to do Tai Chi you ever see a goat stand still maybe you sit to do Tai Chi I don't know <laughs> ever see a pig man sit still? Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Goat man sit still. Pig man sit still. Dude, he no. clearly has diabetes, man. They're He's like got to be on the move. That's it. <laughs> that's it. It's over. <laughs> shark stops moving. Is dead. Oh, man. That's, that's it. Right. Yeah, dude. That's right. <laughs> so you save your goat friends, yeah. and uh, and with then the fire stick, and then yep. right at the last with fire stick, and right at the last second, <laughs> uh, military Pigma. man show up. Yep. Starship trooper shows up. Well, yep. Pigma saves you. Mm-hmm. 
page. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, then the police Pigma. guys come and they're like, oh, we saved everything. It's like, bitch, right. I just fucking destroyed this. I did it. This, right. this eyeball monster right. has and, an obvious weak spot that the pig told me about. Right. The Achilles heel. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, yeah, dude, <laughs> the pig was like, there are like weird anachronisms there. Like, he's like, it's his Achilles heel. It's like, well, I guess that story is interesting maybe enough it, to last another 300 years yeah, in maybe the future. Just Ain't on another planet. Yeah, I mean, like, what's right. another 300 years, right? right? Yeah. So the, the very obvious villains show up. Oh, wait, hold um, on. There was one other weird anachronism where, like, I, like, I hit him one time, uh-huh. and, like, fucking Paige was like, watch where you're shooting Annie Oakley. Yeah, he said that. And I, and I was like... like you don't what? Know I don't know. You don't know that shit. That can be. That's fine. It was in the past. They give you a year. They give you yeah, like a, I mean, a two thousand okay, year. This is an Earth. I mean, it, the, the game it's takes place in twenty four thirty five kind of thing. Still, it's not an anachronism. No, it happened but, in the past. No, but it's 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 a weird saying that you you think fucking Annie Oakley is going to stay around for another three hundred. I call people. Call, they can fix right. it. No, Anytime on. I see Annie two of my, two of my my friends like shirtless, covered in honey, making out, I'm like, whoa, Caligula, hang on a second, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> come on. Yeah, but it's not like a it's not like a turn of phrase. You yeah, it's not I mean? like something. Oh, uh, Paige coined that turn of phrase. So calm down, so, Annie okay, Oakley. Don't so, blow my head off on this podcast. All we right? have to assume that it lasts three hundred years on Earth, and then we go to fucking Highlander, whatever this planet's called. Highlander. It, yeah. Highlander. Yeah. <laughs> the saying is like transferred to Dom planet, takes over Highlander. The, the planet future. Highlander, and then the pig species picks yeah. up on that too. Like that's a lot of that might be that's a lot story. of logic jumps. Maybe that might be, but maybe there's a, a translation. Maybe they have chips in there, oh. like in Star Trek. What if it's it, maybe like maybe Wally though? Version. Maybe and instead of. Uh, uh, whatever the thing is he Pizza watches plant. in that they, he, they oh carousel Oklahoma oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah because yeah. Annie Oakley's in Oklahoma mm-hmm. maybe I mean, that's what it is making this up I have no idea <laughs> maybe that's what it is is she in Oklahoma this is what we're, this is what we're focusing on yes <laughs> they gotta go to like their, I don't know. their European Venice no, Annie style Annie get your gun city. Oh, Annie get your gun that's the movie she's in <laughs> The movie. The That's movie. The movie. The movie. She's in. You ever read that movie in Psych 101? <laughs> oh no? Okay. God. Dude, what? I'm sorry. I got Where are we? No, I love it. What's happening? Go, What's go, going on? Put us back on track, Paul. Let's go back to Hilia. That oh, is the not French. Hyrule. That is totally not Hyrule. Totally not Hyrule. No, it's totally not Hyrule. Totally Hyrule. Not Hyrule. No, it's so oh, there's a hovercraft. Not that much water in Hyrule. Because <laughs> you know when you get to the water, it's shit city. Hyrule, Hyrule. Has, mm-hmm. has 72% water. Hilia Highlander has 71%. Oh. <laughs> it's totally different planet. You know the difference between those two is? 1%. 1%. 1%. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's A good percentage math. is an amount <laughs> of something of some, in something of a else. Hole. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. I'm just saying because I don't know if they teach that in new math. They got <laughs> fractions in uh, Highlander. They're land. all compound. Oh, good. Because goats. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is that how this it works? Game, <laughs> this game makes up whatever the fuck it wants. Why can't I do okay, it? Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm really no, just no. trying to put the pieces together. And so Jade is a <clears throat> photojournalist. Yes. Right? Yeah. Which is weird. Yes. And then wait. And then she gets recruited by Iris. You couldn't make that up. Yeah, well, that's she, like that's like Bookman being the the library cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why her name is Jade? That, this do, game, that analogy doesn't work. <laughs> 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 that almost went over my head because I love you so much. No, but then, like she's like there and she's like shit. We don't have any money. And then like her like hologram Hispanic dude Segundo. is just like Hispanic to Telemundo was like, hey, <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> guess what, Jade? Guess what, Jade? Guess what, Jade? I got good work for you, Here's dude. Some I, dude, Sporticus, man, he's looking out for everybody. <laughs> he, he, was, dude, he was good. Dude, he was keeping Lazy Town on lock. You know, he's keeping High <laughs> Rule on lock. Sporticus is looking out, man. Sporticus. <laughs> All of the, oh, every reference is ten years old. So, Everything we're talking yeah, about right? is ten years old. So you, what, what happens is you get into the story, and then um, every obvious thing ha- ever happens. Yeah. Um, the course. bad guys show up right away, and you're like, oh, those are the bad guys. Okay. Yeah. And you have to fix and then, the Millennium Falcon. You got to fix the Millennium yep, Falcon. Yep, yep. And then you go and uh, and you and you go into the into the city, and you uh, and you see more of the bad you guys. Go that are, the, the, bar. You go to the yeah, CD you go bar. You go to the CD bar. And you meet Iris, yeah. where the propaganda <laughs> song is playing, and. <laughs> that's not mm-hmm. heavy handed in any way because yeah. that's playing inside of the secret location that's yeah. not getting hit by propaganda outside. <laughs> well, you go to the Akira Ruta bar or you whatever. Go, yeah. Akira Ruta. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, She's set up shop in the future. Mm-hmm. When I started playing this, I was like, is this fucking Captain EO the game? Like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, you, have oh. these, you have all these yeah, fucking furry kids. friends helping you out. You yeah. fly in this weird-ass little ship. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, that's a good point. It just, it's creative. It just wants no, it's, to... It's, I'm, it, I'm it, not, like, faulting it. it no, it's, no, it's, it's, it's interesting. And I'm not defending it for, for being like, like, well, you just have to accept somebody's creative vision. What I like about this game is they were like, we can just do whatever. Yeah, why, does, but why can't it just be whatever? Here's right. the thing. It's cool that they went and they went balls to the wall and threw mm. everything at it, but they threw 
everything at it. They do. Right. This right. is a fucking gumbo, dude. This is just every <laughs> single it thing. Is. And if you don't like one of the flavors, man, look out. You don't like furries? Like, get out. On the scale from minestrone to gumbo, how are we looking on this? <laughs> We're looking double, double gumbo. gumbo double gumbo. <laughs> Did you just say that? You guys are both married now. That's what happens. Oh. You're married. Oh, my God. Double gumbo. Do you guys like some private time? Okay, well, <laughs> well, you know. We've been fighting all day, and now yeah, we're... Yeah, that's, 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 that is true. Uh, yeah. Josh, tell us what you think about Paul's uh, milk drinking habits. Yeah. He Jeez. drinks like a pussy. <laughs> he drinks milk like a fucking pussy. You gotta chug that. You gotta let that milk know you're drinking it. Some. <laughs> Just <laughs> sipping on it like there's like a nipple you, attached You want me to, to chew it. the milk? No, you gotta drink it with your mouth like a man. <laughs> not with your pussy hole, you fucking twat. <laughs> Holy shit. And this is why... Remember when I said hello on the last one and everybody show. was like, you can't say that! You can't say that! <laughs> oh, you're getting a lot of and this is why Josh is now the special guest. <laughs> no, that's just because he missed an episode. because <laughs> <laughs> I fucking strep throat. Uh, I should have came and infected you all. And then I had my own podcast. <laughs> you're so surly today, man. It's, it's, it's very unnerving. It's winter time. It's February. <laughs> it's February. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, Josh is, you fucking seasonal aggression. Jesus this is the, Christ. This is, the, this is the time of the year where either Josh should, it wants to die or the, yeah, or the winner will die sense. one of you was going I don't know Paul if you just drank your milk like a man I'll take <laughs> <laughs> a problem I, you yeah. milk. <laughs> I wonder if Jade likes milk <laughs> 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 I mean this game I don't know. is very she's got to scan engaging. it into her little you know what like, she does like scanner. she likes lombus bread I can yeah, tell that yeah. much because you're fucking picking up lombus bread. Oh, I thought they were the tacos. Place. I was like, these look like tacos. I thought they were like, no, they're, they're they're actually future pizzas. They're, <laughs> they're actually future pizzas. Were they, what are they called again? Like, Starcos. 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 They're like yeah. some Greek like yeah. thing. I thought it was like gyro taco combination. Because it's, it's like John Stamos money. came out and he's like, eat these pita breads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. See, you know what? This could be this could be Firefly, but pick one ethnicity and make that spice your life. Whoa! Whoa! Star Wars thing. Where like each race has a different like accent right, kind of right. thing. Right. So like, you could be the most racist in the in the in as many ways as possible. Right. Right. <laughs> to me, I'm the Haitian Federation. Who are your gunners, man? Now I'm the gunner man. Oh my god. My favorite racist me, thing. The banker. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, like, my favorite racist thing was. Every the banking clan. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Techno Union Army. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a robot right now. Oh my oh, god. Everyone's a fucking nerd. <laughs> 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 oh Jesus! Oh uh, yeah. So you get you get introduced to the um to the good and evil that we did, uh, definitely did not get beyond well, in any sort of way. All right, all right. Everybody relax. Hold it's on. a ref- Mike's gonna go into a diatribe. Hold no, on a second. It's some. Um, I'm gonna say uh, Nietzsche because I don't like saying Nietzsche. Uh-huh. I don't like hanging my vowels out there. I'm Italian, so I'm gonna say Nietzsche. <laughs> Nietzsche. You like you it's like some, Sergio it's, Leone. It's exact Leone. It's a uh, it's a, a reference to a book by uh, Frederick Nietzsche. Uh, that is all about uh, which I haven't read. I just know the reference. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it, well, I don't want to like you don't be, like, be a like, misanthrope, right? I don't right. It, right. Yes. Uh, no, a um, misanthrope. Look, what do I want to be? You're the master of words. Misanthrope. Dude, you're oh my god, just say them. Misanthrope is the right don't word. Don't use the big word. Just <laughs> say. Is use hating use other five words things. to talk about the one word that you're thinking of. I don't want to be a guy who pretends to is know that about what you things. Mean? Don't. There you go. No, oh, that's a, not what misanthrope means. People don't. Misanthrope is somebody who doesn't like people. Is that what that means? That's yeah. what that means, yeah. That's what that means. Oh, no, that's a misandrist. Mis- that's a no, that's a, that's a misa- no, that's a misogynist. Yeah. Misogynist. Right, anyway, the, the, book is, the book is just about uh, rejecting um, uh, political or uh, philosophic conventions and mm-hmm. thinking for yourself. Mm. And it's, it's, this is. This right, it's about, it's about shrugging oh, off. Okay, okay. So if it's she's supposed to think for herself, then how come the first time she hops oh. in a taxi about that dude, he goes, the government's evil. And they go, let's fight them. Yeah. <laughs> The government. The first thing they do. The the Cadillac guy turns into taxi guy. (laughs) (laughs) He he turns and he goes from like Mr. Cadillac to Corbin Dallas. First off, (laughs) first off, first time I see that guy standing in front of that thing, and he's like, he's like, my my boss is hanging on the back. I was like, ain't nobody in there. Yeah, dude. I was like, I was like, fuck you, Jamie Heineman. I know you gave up Mr. Jamie Heineman. How you doing this shit? And then he gets in his he gets in his deuce deuce, and he's like. Pops out in that little that little dinky car. Dude, that long ass cutscene was like, here's all the shit we should have told you in the beginning. Yeah, 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 dude. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, dude. right. That five minute cutscene oh, around. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I just that. acted like proletariat, but I'm, a, I'm a, or I just acted like a bourgeois, bourgeois. But, I'm a, but I'm a proletariat. That's right. a I'm a it, yeah. It's just like you Man, know, you shouldn't you shouldn't base any of your you should try to think for yourself and not base any of your assumptions or your conclusions on 
the ideologies that have come before you. Right. I, well, it, that, that did wonders on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and so, uh, but I mean, you know, I you can see <laughs> you can see neophyte. Uh, that was the word. Uh, <laughs> neophyte. <laughs> I, you can see a little bit of um. You can see a little bit of that in this game. Is neophyte the word you were looking for? No, that's somebody who's new at something. Um, <laughs> ne- neophytes grow on the bottom up. That's on the north side of a tree. That's how you right, find your way yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. A yes. neophyte. Right. You're close. Uh, that's close enough, though. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I just don't, uh, you know, this game, there's not, a, it's, I, I'm not going to say it's as deep as a puddle. No. Well, I don't really know. I don't have it's, yeah, that's true. I've gotten it's a fun game. that far into Yeah, it, to be fair, the beginning of the game. No, yeah, no, 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 no. It's the thing the is. game, I have a theory. Spoilers, everyone. Spoilers. Well, you don't spoilers. know, so it's not you a spoiler. Know, spoiler. I don't know, but it could be. Well, he's I'm smart enough. I'm not going to say it. Is there some ass shit? Is there like a Revan situation in I'm Luke Browning this. I'm Luke Browning it. That means. I don't know. Is there? I don't know. I don't know. Darth Sidious? Was that his name? No. Is that Revan? Is she? Is Jade actually the lactic not, acid that causes the doms? <laughs> the lactic acid. Yes. If you're underwater too long, you get the doms real bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, everybody wanted that. My baby's got the doms. Oh I yeah. Like her green hair and her green lips. Dude, I, I love like, her 2003 like colored lip gloss. Oh Dude, she's a I like rave, Jada, she, from France rave girl. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Jada Pinkett Smith. And, yeah, she yeah. got the cargo. She got the cargo pants yeah. and her like upright running. Mm-hmm. Like she's she, she fucking runs like Ben Affleck and Daredevil. He's the worst run cycle I've ever seen in a video game. It's so bad. What's even like her slow run and then her like fast run is just a little bit faster. Slow run is way worse than faster. Fast run is like passable, but slow run is like it's like, girl, you gotta lift those legs up. You know those glutes aren't getting worked when you're just doing that little Dude, tiny jog. She's, she's running like like at a fucking right angle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. her back is straight and yeah. her legs are just like beep, 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 Nick beep, postures beep. everything. I guess so, man. I guess in the future it is. You know, you saw you know, you saw her sitting Indian style in the beginning. She was yeah. all nice yeah. and you know, yeah. right uh, what I like about the character is it, uh, Jane style. is that's Jane is almost uh gender neutral. Yeah. Uh, aside from the yeah. maybe the tad bit of like uh, maternal instincts for, the, the, for, kids, the, for yeah. the orphans. Right, right, right. But the, even, char- yeah. the character itself could be a guy or a girl. That's nice. I like that they chose it to be a girl just for to change it the fuck up. Right. Yeah. And but, I like that. I like, suppose that they don't because that's why it didn't sell. Right. Well, you know, yeah. what, conversely to uh, again, let's put it right up against uh, Angel of Darkness. Interestingly, in that game, also uh, Lara, even though not on the cover, she's dressed like Lara. Uh, all the promotional uh, stuff for that game, she had a jean jacket and slacks on. Yeah. And I wonder if the art styles of the game didn't influence each other. Who knows? Chicken and egg. I, I don't know. It's like a hell gas uh, mine uh, psyops thing from Killzone. Yeah. Like the art styles for the, the villains in those games were identical in the games that came out like the exact same time. Anyway, yeah. just a, right. a thing. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I This game doesn't make it a big deal that the main characters no, are women. And nice. nobody else, I'm not saying nobody should. Right. I just Pigma think it's. Is upset. I think it's supposed to be celebrated. <laughs> It's yeah, upset. Good. There's a female protagonist. It's nice too that it's not just she's just like super badass and has like all this shit. She, she, she has this like she has this passive, like she has like a passive like voyeuristic like background. And it's not right. it's not like she's not an aggressor. She's not like the person going out and fighting all these things. She's like, oh, I have to defend these things. Mm-hmm. And the thing that I do that's my job is like she's the most equipped for the for the task. Right. right. And she's a, nice, photographer she's a photographer and she knows is, martial arts. Like the fact that she's like a photojournalist, I'm like, oh that's a cool little addition thing. Yeah. Like but then it's funny because she it's, busted it's, out the bow staff and I was like, eh, I could do without that this, part. But the, you have to play as that character. Yeah, no, I And it, it is an action game. No, totally. I love that she's a photographer in two thousand three when people were fucking obsessed with digital cameras. Dude, she got you got digital zooms, which you get right away. You gotta get that new role, man. You gotta get that new digital new zoom. New role man. of film, man. The lady's like, Let me upgrade your digital <laughs> zoom. Oh my god. <laughs> Doctor Claw is upgrading your digital zoom. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. This is a good picture. <laughs> I like that it gives you like good composition, bad composition. It's like Bad framing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. I don't on. like your art. Take, get it out of here. Rule of thirds. Come on. Now. <laughs> Come on. You can take a picture of a bird like 40 miles away. <laughs> and like, right composition. Yeah. I and love. What is, what is the scientist lady going to get from like this blurry ass picture of she a fucking all, bird? You know what the stupid thing is? You give her a picture of the thing and then she tells you what the genus and the species are. If you fucking already know what it is. What am I yeah. doing? I know what it is. Yeah. I gave you a picture of the fucking pig guy and you're like, oh, pig. 
Pig Erectus or Pig, the, pig Sapien. Maybe, sapien. maybe pig there's sapien. something else going on. Maybe she's got a room no, that's no, like no. a mind map and she's trying to figure out the conspiracy. She's like, <laughs> that bird means something. <laughs> that bird <laughs> fucked a human one time and now there's Bird Sapiens. Look at it. Look at what we caused. <laughs> it's a minotaur. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. That movie, well, uh, Room 237. 237. Uh-huh. Oh, it's the minotaur. We could have a whole yeah. podcast. Oh my God. That. We no. should just do, we that's should do a movie is. sometime on she, that. The, the woman from that movie is, is a scientist. Oh, Jesus. Uh... What actually she's doing is she's cataloging what things still exist in the world. Just so you know. That's yeah. what it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's like, oh, because... <laughs> Sorry to you know, ruin your, no, th- no, your no, jokes, no, guys. A lot of times she's like, oh, I haven't seen one of them in forever. Yeah. They're apparently very dangerous. Just a heads up. Don't yeah, get close. She said that one time when I uh, took a picture of Paige being mauled by one of the things. <laughs> the thing on top of him. <laughs> the, the fucking Predator thing. The Predator Minox. I was like, oh, photo op. And I like, took a picture of him. <laughs> I did the same thing. It was coming at me. And it was like, it was a frame full of like this thing's face like coming in. She's like, great photo. Yeah. I was like, oh, God. Don't get too close. I'm fine. Don't Good worry. Thing, I just paused Jay, eternity. <laughs> Fucking pause the universe to send this to you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, did you guys attack the ships? The, the civilian ships. Did you get in water? trouble? Don't, don't yeah. do that. I attacked two and didn't get in trouble. The boats for on it. the water. Yeah. The at water. First, oh. at first I attacked a couple and they didn't like do anything to me. And then after you do it for a little bit, then the cops show up. Oh, uh, the like, first one I shot up, somebody was like, "Get the fuck out of here, give yeah. me your credits." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I kind of like they give you that little bit of freedom to screw around. Yeah, like yeah, that. it's cool. It's it feels very proto open world. You That's know? the thing that I felt. When I started playing it, and I just got launched into the world, after you get the, the new motor and everything, I was like, this is too much new world for me right now. Just guide me a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, it was I just, like, too soon, you know? Like, to I know the game was in development for a long time, but, um, you know, maybe there was some influence from Grand Theft Auto 3, which had right. come out a year or two earlier. And sandbox games were like that. Every every game that came out that was third-person after that was, like, yeah. sandboxy. But I also do like that it kind of focused you a little bit level-wise. Uh, there was a great game that came out called uh, MDK2. Um, which yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it was a, it was I remember a, MDK. I don't remember a, MDK2. MDK2 no. was a... a uh, it's a little bit different than the Aren't first one. Aren't you like one. a sniper with a nose sniper? You are a janitor yeah. who gets a suit that makes your nose yeah. a gun. Yeah, the second one's phenomenal. It's great. It's you become uh, one of the uh, the second one of the masks from uh, from what's the Kubrick film, the sex film. Uh, oh yeah, I saw. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, one of the you become like masks. a creepy yeah. like like Renaissance doctor. Yeah, with a gun yeah. nose. Oh, yeah, MDK two was to the first one what um, Evil Dead two was to Evil Dead. Oh, really? It was just okay. kind of like ah whatever, and they just had like a ton of fun with it. But right. the level, not the design and it came out a couple years earlier but uh not the level design but sort of like the freedom within the levels mm-hmm. sort of reminded me of that and, right. and that's that's fun because you're like oh i get to explore but it's not too much right you know and even even now sometimes i feel like sometimes in games it's like okay well you go figure it out right it's like all right that's the puzzles in this game are more along the lines of not you have to remember these things there is a little bit of that later but like you have to remember these things or put the the pieces together for yourself the puzzle is more like what am I supposed to do? Right. Like, what's the action yeah. I'm supposed to take? Right. And that harkens back to original Tomb Raider. And again, yeah. I can't hammer this point home enough. I think when they relaunched Legends, um, which was like three or four, no, two or three years after this, uh, it was very much in the vein of this game. There was there was a series of third person platformers that came out after this that sort of overshadowed it. Uh, Psyops, uh, Mercenaries, the, the new Grand Theft Auto, uh, God yeah. of War, and then this just kind of got lost in the dust and and you know it's not that it's not great mm-hmm. it's definitely fun mm-hmm. and it's and it's a good game to play just uh you know hopefully the sequel can realize a lot of the uh, proto concepts it made. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and and fully realize a lot of the, uh the proto concepts that this game like introduced in a, Here, in a, bigger, in a more fleshed out manner here's my big problem with it and this is something that we talked about you guys weren't on You're the pig racist what? i'm pig racist yeah. yes oh great, how'd you know so... we talked about it on pig racism cast <sighs> You didn't listen to that yet. I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I'm offended by it. Frankly. Uh, yeah, my dad was. Um, big. Fuck your bacon ass. Bacon loving ass. Whoa. And get out. Wow. Get out right now. No, I, we talked about this on our um, Psychonauts podcast. Mm. Uh, neither of you guys were on that one, right? No, no. Satchel. I was on part one. You were on part one? Yeah, and then Luke I went I know to Satchel was on there. Italian That's right. You left Italy. in the middle of it. You went to Italy. That's why I forgot because you abandoned us during it. Yeah. That's right. Dark times. Luke's really upset <laughs> right now. Dark times. No, we talked about this during the second part more. Um, this is like. Early 2000 mindset of video games was, hey, let's put a bunch of collectibles in it to make it really long. Yeah. Paul, and bingo. this game, this game hits you with it so early because you do the first little thing where you go to get your new motor, and then you go meet the guy, and you do your first and little dungeon. Like, Here are the things. Yeah. Here's the things you're going to have to collect things <laughs> you for. You 30 to go into space. Mm-hmm. But you only have one. How right. am I going to get all of them? But, Take okay. a lot of photos. That's yeah. okay with me if you place them nicely in the 
general progression of the game. But right. the thing that this game you does... You want them to be linear. I want them to be at least for a little bit longer. I'm not, and then I'm not I'll chastising you for it. I, I understand. I want it to be like Zelda where... I just right. go to the things and I unlock the different things that I need as I yeah. do the things. You this, need the part of that puzzle to move on. Right, right exactly. Which, yeah, the problem with have. this is right. you do that first little mission with for the for Cab, cab Dude, Double yeah. H. Yeah. Um, you do that mission, and then as soon as you're done that, they're like, okay, now you got to get five pearls. Go get them. Yeah, well, in the and world. on top yep. of like seeing all those things, like it just set you – you're looking through and you're like, all right, well, at some point I'm going to need this thing, and then, oh, there's like a space engine back there, so I guess we go to space at some point yeah, now. Yeah, it like, ruins it for you a yeah, bit. Like, like, how great would it have been if you just complained through the game, and they're like, oh, yeah, you have to go to the next part, and it's on the fucking moon. Right. You know how you're going to get there? With this fucking <laughs> right. spaceship adjustment part, all right? That's just, how you're getting up there. I just remembered a really funny part, too, when you're first meeting Iris, and <laughs> they're telling you about the guy they lost. They were like, he was one of our best agents. And then there's a like, really awkward pause, and then you go, and our best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Agent first, friend later. <laughs> he like, does this really awkward pause. And a best friend. And I he just, was like, sad. Like, as if that wasn't sad, enough. Buddy. Like, as if, like, like a fucking, fucking Black Hawk down, you know, behind enemy lines is like, okay, that's a big deal. <laughs> He's also he's my also best, my best friend. friend. Also, yeah. he's probably banging that cat chick too. So, just you might think up. that we're a bunch of heartless sots here, but he was my best friend. And now they're taking people to the moon. Okay, and now they're taking them. And there's the, that guy said that, and there's like three other people in the room, like yeah. who are like equally fighting along. Like cat like, girl sitting on the thing probably got real upset. Hey, what the fuck, dude? I thought we were all best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, as far as like storytelling in the game, you make a really good point. You know, it's 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 interesting that they dangle that carrot in front of you. It's like, well, if you keep going, if you collect all the things, You'll space, go to space yeah. right, right. Well, I mean, like, which is you 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 see it incentive. in the beginning. You're like, okay, fucking space. I, this is like another planet. That's mm-hmm. cool. You know, this planet's mm-hmm. interesting enough. But they where, ground you. Yeah, you, you, you just you assume, get grounded. You just assume if you don't see the that world, if you already have the whole world. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna be on the, the whole world. You know, it's like right. Final Fantasy Seven. Like, oh, we're just gonna play in this giant fucking city town all the time. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's and cool. then you step outside. And you're Halfway like, through, oh, you're like, oh, there's an entire God. fucking world that I have to explore. This yep. is crazy. It took me seven hours to get out of Midgar. Yep. What's the next city gonna see, be? See, that like? was cool, but that was a cool yep. progression because they they drive you linear through, through the like little you're bit right. of their story. They set it all up, yep. and then they unleash you. This is like boom, right? I agree. I agree. Both you. It's not great time too. Go do these three things. Don't jump. Do the three things. Don't fucking jump either. Right. Yeah. Backflip, yes. Jumping, no. <laughs> no. Hop on the fence, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop across a little thing, totally yeah. cool. Fart shoes, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Uh, but yeah, fart shoes. They're powered by methane. He says it when he's explaining the shoes to you. He's like, "Here's the methane tank," yeah. and he shows his butt. Yep. And then it's and then he's then he fucking launches off his fart gas. <laughs> but yeah, pigs, I, uh, man, pigs. pigs. That's why we don't deal with that kind. All right. <laughs> God. Oh, big racism. Oh, Paul. <laughs> big racism. For all the improvements in the graphics, no pig butthole. No pig no, butthole. No, 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 no. We've only played one game on this yeah. podcast that had a pig butthole. I'll tell you what, man. This game grinds the shit out of an Xbox. <laughs> Holy it? Oh, does it? yeah, it really? does. Oh, yeah. Chugging? It's, yeah, it's slow. Yep. Hmm. It's funny. It um On disc. I don't know how it is, like, digitally. Uh, on... Well, you're playing on X, original Xbox. Yeah, so yeah. Like, I, thought, yeah. I thought you were playing. playing no, I'm playing it on the three. I'm playing the disc. But they're playing the, the yeah. Playing the yeah, it probably just doesn't have the some. I mean, because a lot of those games you can't right. A lot of no, you can it, almost all of them. Some of them freeze, of them which can. I was fingers crossed this didn't, right. that didn't happen. But I'm playing it on PC, and there's actually a guide on the Steam like community mm-hmm. page for it because there's graphical glitches that just happen with the game. What right with off the, the update? Bat. Um, just in general, just there's graphical glitches with the game. Huh. Because I guess the, the it code. wasn't fully like made for PC. Like it wasn't. Huh. There, was, there might maybe older cards or something like that. With newer cards, yeah. my my game was running so crabbly when I first played it. Yeah, I had to go and turn off all these settings in order to get it to run right. It's, it's funny how many games I I bought on the 360 That's or so excuse weird. me on the uh, Xbox as opposed to the PlayStation 2 because you know I was like oh the, well, the Xbox is more powerful. Right. Like when we played um, Knights of the Republic and I went yeah. back and played that and I'm like oh my god this is like 15 frames a second right. and not that it's like you know impedes you to play the game or impeded me my my playing it just you know it's a labor of love at that point you're like okay yeah. well i gotta right. you know some games are, are great on original xbox right. but um man they, they were pushing it they were really really pushing it yeah the prima guide see this is a game where i would need a prima <laughs> yeah. Guide. I'm yeah. Serious. yeah josh yeah. i think i have one or maybe two somewhere I but i didn't have. I have one too it's called the internet <laughs> i need game facts <laughs> game facts i, I, do li- miss I like my little now. uh assy page and my, yep. my yeah, with the CJ oh control F, God. control F in on the numbers so you can jump to the point. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Nick, I, I I love strategy guides. 
I'm dude, I do too. too, man. Like, I still have. Uh, Rebecca and I were going through a bunch of our stuff. Got your FF7 she, like, one? Dude, she pulled out the FF7 one. That's she's the best like, one. She's like, do you need this? And I was like, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Might at some point. <laughs> Sometimes I want to look through that bestiary and I just want to see every character. You guys want to? Paul, I want to look at bestiality. <laughs> Paul hates pigs, loves bestiality. Yeah, We're right. learning yeah, things dude. about Paul yeah. today. Sometimes well, I want to look in the margins where I wrote down where there's an incorrect information that I found. Nick, editing. Yep. Boom. Oh, yeah. In the margins. Oh, Boom. yeah. Hey, anytime uh, you guys want to look at the FF6 one. Or FF3 as it is. Oh, dude, really? Oh, yeah, you got that? Cool. A mono? My, ma- my manual nine, is disintegrating from all the times I touched wow. it. Like, as like a kid and everything. Like, Your it just... Hands. Oh, little j- j- do that to just, a in a museum, No, my Mike. dick is, is razor burned. <laughs> From, uh-huh. how, from how I'm, all, I'm like, oh my God, it's got hair off of it. Oh my God. I just got an image of you giving a paper cut on your pee hole. <laughs> oh, don't do that. You're making it bigger so you can pee better. No, I pull, I pull an ash from, I pull an ash from my aliens. I roll up paper and try and stick it in my dick Stop hole. it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I Nick, I have, I have like a, a ton of like old strategy guides like that. like a lotus seed pod <laughs> in the hole. <laughs> it's the, glo- it's, you know what it is? It's the glossy pages. It's like yeah, a, the high nice, quality dude. stock. It's fantastic, man. Even yeah, when they're, they're good. They're hey, good. Hey, Josh, you want some milk? <laughs> Maybe some milk. I want you your pussy ass milk. <laughs> pussy ass milk. I want your ass milk. I think it's Tim one too. I think I might. I have the uh, old Republic a... ones. I'm. And it's oh, oh, we're looking at. We're oh, looking well, at... Well, we, we measuring dicks now. Yeah, yeah, right Luke, I mean, Luke's got an entire library right next to us. Right. <laughs> Look, I need to know how the characters fare in Jack Ball. All right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I, got a, I got a FF three guide. Yeah. Is it oh, over here? I can't see it. Oh, there's a Brady games right there. Yeah. Which one do you have? Or the lines? Wait. You got? Oh, he's got tactics. Do you have the dude? thick one? Do you have the thick one, or oh, you got the, the one with the hurl? Yo, tactics. I can't see the Wait, cover. War of Lions. That's like, War of Lions. Is that tactics? Is that the? Yeah, is that regular? Tactics. Tactics. Do, you, do, you, do you still have your tactics? Oh, okay. I have it for um, PlayStation. PSP. That's what that one is. If you have it, if you have it for the, the actual, I think it's worth money now. PlayStation is it? One? I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really got cloud on that shit, yeah. man. I think I might have Sarah so. might have a copy of it, but I got it for PSP because I was. Yeah, break out that, that FF6 uh, strategy. Guy. Let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Three. Yeah, talk about that. That's what I meant. Three. Three. Oh, we playing Final Fantasy VI on the next podcast? All right. We did already. I missed it. I missed it, but I remember when you name checked me. That's 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 what I used to listen to. That's right. That's right. That's really funny. Uh, you also have that Oblivion one too. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the Tom Cruise movie. Sweet. Oh, see, because here's what happens when you work at GameStop. <laughs> oh, they, after a while they get destroy down. them. Yep. That's like, like game crazy, man. Yeah. They're like whatever, and then we're just like, okay, cool. So uh, I'm taking these. I got the Jade Empire. One. I have a copy of Jade you Empire. Have like eight I Jade Empire. I've never opened that. I also have all those Jade Empire yeah. ones, and I was like, someday I'll give these to people who want them. Dude, they, they, don't, don't, do, they don't do like <laughs> Barnes and Noble book burnings. They don't do that. No, they they ask you to throw them away, but they they don't care. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Dude, in Barnes & Noble, you gotta fucking rip the covers off and throw that shit you out. You were supposed yep. to rip the covers off, and nah, I just gave them away to That's everybody. Good. Yeah. Who cares? I mean, you know, fuck the man. <laughs> Power to the people. I yeah, did, man. Did, Down with pigs. This is way off topic, but I did just get Sarah the... Um the like Legend of Zelda like hardcover set. Oh, uh, that's cool. Oh, that, yeah, I've seen them making all, the rounds on the, the guides are like, hardcover together. For every game. That's, that's cool. like one. Is do they have the original set? booklet for the? The only one, one it doesn't have is um no, it doesn't have the original booklet. Like not a recreation though. I thought maybe it would have like no, a, it's just, just a, it's all it's the all, original art. The, for the original is yeah. cool. The big the big guidebooks, but the only mm. one it doesn't have is the newest one, which oh, has okay. a hardcover but it doesn't fit in the box. What's the what's the? I heard that between worlds. Like between worlds. That's right. Okay. Okay. I heard you, Josh. This has been a a penis uh, joke. This has been a Josh's. I heard that corner. (laughs) (laughs) I heard that corner with Josh. They can't all be super radio voice. You gotta like flavor flavor it up a little bit. I tried. Yeah, boy. (laughs) I heard that. That's someone's ringtone. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get a little Paul voice on it. Monster graphics. <laughs> Monster we make, graphics. We should make continue cast. Paul, Paul sounds like a like a an Italian Woody Allen. <laughs> what, Italian what were we Woody talking Allen. about the car, Paul? What were we talking about the car? Milk. Mel- oh, cavalry. Mel- send in the cavalry. Cal- cal- send in the cal- cal- cavalry. Send in the cavalry. How? Uh, however, I will send in the cavalry. Cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else to talk about in this game? Damn, it. there's a lot of things to talk about yeah. in this game. No, I, I, there's a lot of Taco Bell in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of talk about talk about talk about, talk about it. What's with those bo- What's the B thing that you get? What's with those boxes? <laughs> what, what is that? Boxes? What is the B thing called again? <laughs> the oh, boost. The, we're talking no, about the, the, the candy. That re- they refill your entire life. The candy thing. That oh, the bebop or whatever. For? Bebop cola, which is they, from mm, what's bebop it called? cola. No, what's it called? I gotta find out what that thing's called. Danny needs this poison. <laughs> What's the scorpion's name? Uh, what is the scorpion's name? I don't remember. The PA trash can robot from no, that's Black the Hole comes out and kills it. 
Remember? Hold on. Double talks. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm trying to find the item list. It's it's oh, one of the. So boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm no, sorry. I'm... Did you want to think about what the items. fucking word for K-bups. neophyte is, Mike? Oh, God, this is so K-bups. Let's for that. K-bups. K-bups. That K-bups. sounds like a drug. That sounds illegal. Does not that not sound illegal to you? That's the, K-bups. the Mr. Odie Bar. That's the... It freaked um, me out. What's Mr. Odie Bar? It's, yeah, it's right. Neophyte. That was the word. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, I just really feel like this game. I liked it. Uh huh. Like right off the bat, I was like, I like this game. I was like, I was like, I feel, this feels good. It's an. It, it feels really good. Yeah. It controls well. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun. But oh, as soon as that open world nonsense happened, that that same psychonaut yeah. stuff, where I was just like, I gotta go collect things now, and like, like yeah. at least at least some of the collectible things are a little different, like. The one to get one of the pearls, you got to go into the Raiders Cave and you chase mm-hmm. down a little ship and you're like going around things. But it's basically just a racing game. Oh god, I did that yeah. like a hundred yep. times. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, we need to find that guy. Oh, what's and you're like chasing him through the cave. Uh, things and the, the doors fuck are dropping. Is the game you play yeah. in the fucking uh, cantina. You gotta like beat the, the guy. The cup. Uh, three cu- three oh, cup yeah. Monty. Uh, oh. With the coconuts. The yeah. shell yeah. coconuts. The shell three shell three cup Monty. Yeah. 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 It's called the shell game or the shell game. You have, to say, you have to say the, the, the babambas down to hit the chickens, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. it. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I didn't like the controls. Like Bomb usually, I like flip them, like Bomb flick, I like up you down, like inverted. Yeah, I like like jet mm-hmm. controls, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I this like it inverts everything, so right moves left, and that's because left France. moves right. It's just weird. <laughs> that's why they never right? want it's very strange, man. Yeah, I, and I ne- I'll say this: oh. I never understood people who use inverted controls. I never did that. Yeah, I never understood Nick Murphy either. It's because. Because like I played like Jet Game. Jet game no, gym, I know. I just know? I just don't understand why it's an option in a game like this. Yeah. Well, when you have a look, when you have a look axis, some people need that. Halo. I guess. People I used know. to do it with Halo, Halo. Yeah. all the time. Well, that's an FPS. Yes, that's a little different. But, like, yeah. I know, you, you, oh, that's different. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's different. It's an FPS because it's oh. it's actually your. Right. Hey, you know what sucks about this game? The camera. Go back to your corner. <laughs> I heard Go that. back to your corner. <laughs> yeah, bo- yo, the camera in this game and like constantly having to adjust the camera. No, thank you, pass. Nope. Well, with the mouse, it's nice. Hey, I was gonna say, I'm sure it's 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 um, better in the new one. I, I don't I don't know. Is it better? Like, is mine's the old version? Was the camera the old version? It's, yeah. What you got the? I'm asking you. You can do the spin cam. No, no, you can. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah but you're constantly. It's not very smart. Oh, yeah, not no, that it needs to whatever. be. It's just it's another thing in the game I don't want to have to do. It's not fixed. That's all I give a shit about. Okay. Yep. Did they fix the music? I heard they fixed the music in the new version. I never. Does it not loop pl- as bad? I've only ever played the like new the version, music. so I don't know the old version. That propaganda song repeats over and yeah, over and over again. Yeah, it's yeah. called propaganda. <laughs> yeah. That's how they get you, dude. That song in Bioshock it's Infinite. It's so oh my it's God. so Acadian rap, which I didn't know the name for until Akira. Taught us what that was. Oh, what that is propaganda it? song. It's just French Canadian rap. Uh, Let's um, stop referencing Akira Aruda. <laughs> She's gonna get a big head. She's gonna love this. Number She's one just fan. Gonna love it. It's yeah. me, Akira Aruda. Oh, wow, oh, you oh, sound oh, just oh, like her. Akira, when did you get on the podcast? I came from Nova Scotia. <laughs> Wait, that sounds an You're awful lot like Nick's Gypsy Woman. <laughs> I love. I, I love. Are I they love the same Akira. person? Same Co- never person. seen the coincidence. Same room. <laughs> Read the book. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Akira. Uh, <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Did I kill it? I killed it. No, I'm just out of steam. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Good, said there. everyone on the internet. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool. Everybody can come fuck. Uh, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait. Oh. Yeah, no, everybody can come fuck me. Okay. That's, yeah, no. That's, and I then that's Mike was arrested for statutory rape on the internet. It's not rape if I'm just laying there. <laughs> Bump. Yeah, I, I think it still <laughs> is. What? Yeah. T- T-shirts, Are you wrap it up bumper like, oh, stickers. That's the definition of rape. <laughs> yeah. That's the definition of rape. I was just laying there, <laughs> officer. You don't understand. No, oh that's marriage. I was, just, yeah. <laughs> I was just laying there. Oh my god. <laughs> that's holy shit. Oh my god. Oh. I went. See, I was gonna say everybody what? could go fuck themselves, but I was like, nah, oh. they can come fuck me instead. <laughs> come holy fuck shit. you. God. All right, that's great. Oh, that's good man. stuff. Oh, man, you know how about what? some user questions? <laughs> Yeah, right? I, I, user comments. I actually didn't get a lot of user feedback on this one. All right. I, get fucked, user. We're too busy wow. fucking my Yeah, too busy coming fucking I me. had one thing I wanted to say. This game. <laughs> Negative Josh Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. 
Let's hear it. No, I was just going to say, this game reminded me of French children's Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> this is Knights of the Old Surprisingly Republic. Surprisingly positive. For fucking babies. This, this, was, but this was the muzzy version <laughs> of Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, bonjour. <laughs> Je suis <laughs> la You guys talking about muzzy? I'm Akira. <laughs> Je suis la jeune fille. That's Akira. So That's right amazing, Nick. <laughs> four, I can't believe you remember that. Four yeah. fucking people were like, Wow. Wow. Muzzy. Muzzy. Wow. <laughs> Infomercials from 1988. Yeah, they work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is French. No, they're not French. They're American. They're American. They're American. Sure. That's, dude, that is a. I got to see if Muzzy is, is still on the YouTube. Oh, no, God. Muzzy is on the YouTube, dude. Trust me. Muzzy. I tweet about, I tweet oh, about it once it. a year. <laughs> Do you? I've Sorry, yeah, dude, I tweet about Photon once a year. And uh, one of our friends used to be like, I'm the only other person who ever watched Photon with you. And I was like, yeah, that was the laser tag show. And the guy would go into the laser tag world. Photon. I love Photon. Yeah, and that. it was black with that yeah, red line. Across. It looked like RoboCop. Yeah, yeah, dude. Well, yeah, new that was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. I have a question. <laughs> I thought Luke was, I think you could have some like sarcastic thing to say, yeah. but you're no, like, yeah, was, no, no, that was good. That one. was no, cool. that was that, that was, was good. That was okay. <laughs> hey, everybody is playing against type on this. Josh oh, was surprisingly great. positive. Was, Luke was surprisingly positive. Just the, Luke supportive. was neutral there. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's a pig racist this week. <laughs> I I don't like this game. No pig butthole. That's why I'm racist to it. You know what? I'm glad. I'm actually glad there's no pig butthole because. They, Jade hugged uh, the pig dude, and I was like, oh, That's her uncle, no. Nick. Well, I read that on the internet, but at first, when I was seeing it unfold behind my, before Your my eyes. Your daddy hugged real good, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 no. Your daddy laid there real good, too. Oh, my God, it's statutory pig rape. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I have a question man. for everybody at the table, and it's kind of directed, uh, or it kind of comes from what you just said about um, getting to the open world. Are indie games... Uh, Destroying this type of game. Does this type no. of is no. no? This will never so? be in. This will never stop. Wait, what? Hold on. What, what game what? has come out that's like this recently? And uh, then I'm not, I'm Retro not, City I'm Rampage. Like, that was like pretty open world. I mean, I know yeah. that's like third, Grand Theft Auto, third person but like platformer. Third person. Like, mm-hmm. did, was Rayman like this? Batman's kind of no, like Rayman's this. Not, not it's a two like D platformer. It's a two D platformer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what? But what is that? Like, in, what, in what terms of what? Yeah, but, were, bath, yeah, but ba- bath, like adventure uh, games. Batman Gotham Arkham <laughs> thing. Yeah. You you go around you like throw batarangs and there's the Joker and it's all evil. I know. What are you asking? Like, 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 like in like terms a, of what? Like a Tomb Raider esque like three uh, D puzzler adventure game that's sort of like yeah, light hearted. Yeah, they still make that. That's light hearted and like fun like this. Tomb Raider. Oh, light hearted. What was that other game we played? I mean, things happen. What's that gonna? Happens. I know. I well, yeah, it kind of unhappens too. But I know yeah. what happens. Yeah, yeah, I like this game. I don't know. I mean, I think if you're gonna go open world now a days, you go full open sandbox world. Yeah, you do MMO. Like. Right. You do like M- either you do MMO yeah. or you do uh, GTA. Minecraft, GTA, or, or, or you do Quasi Minecraft, MMO. or you do like uh, Starbound. Oh, so I guess yeah. You know. I, you know, I just I'm just asking. You know, I, I mean, do you, do you count Minecraft as an open world mm, or is it? It's, m- is it more of a sandbox game? It's, uh, no, I mean, but there's no like. Like the world Points. exists and you are doing things, right. but there's no like narrative you create, driven. You create that world. Action. Right. That world is whatever you put into it. There is an ending to it, though. Is, is, is kind of point me in the direction of a game that's like this. Not so I can be like I told you so. Just I'm curious. You, not, you don't have to do it now. I'm being rhetorical, but you know, I'm sure Assassin's Creed. Game. It's not lighthearted, but it's an open world yeah. adventure game. Okay. There's not a whole lot of puzzles in Assassin's no, Creed. Did you right, play? Not really, yeah. uh, so did everybody play that or what? Because I mean, I, I think we keep on playing all these bite-sized games. Not in a bad way. I like those games. Right. Yeah. Play uh, bite-sized games so we can get relatively far. In I was going to I was going to joke know? when I first came on and be like, ah, I lied. I didn't continue Binding of Isaac, but that was actually have been a lie. I thought it was going to be funny, yeah. but I, that's because I'm an idiot. Idiot. But I played Binding of Isaac for probably about another two hours, maybe right. since the last podcast. Uh, I wanted to go back, try out a couple yeah, more yeah. things, make sure my space bar worked. I'm actually, <laughs> but uh, yeah. but to, to be honest, like you know, games of that size are really engaging, you know? Yeah. They're Super Meat Boy, you know, same type of thing. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that we had a lot to talk about with this game, that we could fill this much time. I was a little worried because same the here. past couple games, and although they've been bite-sized, have given us a lot of stuff to talk about because they've made you think. Yeah, yeah. Like there's been a lot, and that's why I, I think we kind of started moving towards those games, is mm-hmm. they give us a lot to discuss. They make us think, they make us want to talk about real life things, not yeah. just video game things. I like when we play, like, heady games. Like, yeah. like I think the best... For me, like the best podcasts we've done have been like the Bioshock ones. Yeah, I think we all got really invested, and we were all like talking a lot about like the story, which is what I like talking about with these. Same here. Because then right. otherwise, it just turns into Nick doesn't like first person shooters. I, right. You know <laughs> what I mean? I, I like when we talk about like themes and like thematic things. Well, like Papers like, Please and, was and, really good too. Because yeah, I like when we talk about deeper <laughs> yeah. things. You know, like you said, yeah. Uh, we t- 
I won't say the game, but we had talked about uh, earlier before the podcast about us all playing a game together just to right. kind of have a podcast to talk about stories of playing the game. You know, not that there's a thing yeah. to discuss or that there's game mechanics. We should, I mean, I'm sure there's always some game design thing we want to talk about, mm-hmm. you know, because uh, we like games and, you know, we're not, you know, I guess professionals or whatever. Yeah, but I heard it's that. Like, it's like your friends sitting around, you know, talking about movies, like yeah. how you do. But, right. uh, you know, there's something to be said about a game where you can sit around and just talk about having had, had fun playing the game, too. Right. That's um, true. You know, maybe I, maybe we could do something like that. I'm disappointed that we didn't get FTL um, because I think the discussion would have been 100% based around what how, happened for you. When how you did you it. play it? Yeah, right. what happened what when was you your had strategy? it? Shit yeah, you there. did. <laughs> but we, we'll get there, yes. Paul. Paul, we'll get there. I know, we'll get there. But that, but I'm totally You're cool steering with the playing ship, this. man. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, I could I could have shut you it down. You left it up to the people. Yeah. In fact, I extended the voting and, and posted it again, and FTL was winning. And when I reposted I the thing, it <laughs> shot up. Beyond yeah. Good and Evil shot up right when I did it. And I was like, damn it. Looks like I'm dusting off the that old Xbox. Luke. Yep. You're welcome. That was <laughs> yep. Luke. You got in there, man. Luke was like, no, I want to play this game. And everyone's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Luke to New Army Rose, Luke dude. Yeah. Rose right up. Mm-hmm. Um, let's do let's do the wrap up. Let's let's say how we feel about let's this game. Let's do the wrap ready. up. Let's say how we feel about the game. <laughs> That's things wrapping up. That's the sound of things wrapping up. You have to tell That's me what good. the sound no, is. That, it does not that, count. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was the sound of the Hellraiser box going back together. (laughs) (laughs) We have so many things to show you, Paul. That was Cube 2 Hypercube rearranging itself. Um, I hate that movie. I hate that movie. Cube was good. I didn't like Cube Cube 1 either. Cube is interesting. Cube 1 felt like this. Cube 1 felt like this where the story was so in your face. Interesting. Cube 1 is based on Jean-Paul Sartre's No Exit. Do you know what? Yeah, another existentialist. I really like movies that start like that. Yes. Like that Predators remake Mm. starts like that where they're like, how the fuck do we get here? Yep. And who are we? Who are like, we? That's great, man. I think that's so right. I just thought the thematics Lost, you know. were in There's your like face. That, that really great episode of Twilight Zone, like that. What is it? Five characters, no exit or no room. They're to in the play. side of the box yep. at the end, oh, and great. they're toys or something. Yeah, this was sort of like oh, a Toy Story. It's Toy Story. Oh, that's the spoil. That. That's the episode. They're toys at the end. Yeah. It's yeah. also based on no exit. Actually. Everyone yeah. talks about how great the story in this game is, and I want to keep playing because I want. I've heard a lot of people talk about how great it is. Full Revan situation. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, there's got to be some sort of shift that makes it a little bit more complex because right now it is super super basic and it's I haven't late. seen a single pussy lip this whole time <laughs> not one Jesus Christ. I don't know you fight some of those enemies you fight open out your like browser window <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I have it on my desktop <laughs> just go to your hearse of history and that's all yeah your history go to the ads on normal boots all I'm getting is porn why do you guys putting porn up because you're fucking looking because you're looking at porn you idiot I mean, good job looking at porn. You know? yeah, like, yeah, good for you. Just, you're doing also, it. who the fuck is like, all I'm getting is porn? <laughs> I get a porn ad. I'm like, all right. All right. Yeah. yeah. I want to see Xfinity porn. triple play ads. Oh, That's a- what I want to see. <laughs> Ashley Madison. Life is life is uh, short. Uh, fuck hard or whatever the fuck yeah, right. <laughs> their, their logo, logo is. God, that site is so weird. I've never been there. Is it awesome? No, I've never. I've just meant that whole like culture. What does your wife of, think of it? Of, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. You like, son of a bitch. What is Ashley like Madison? A it, it's, Ashley a, it's a swinger site, or no, let you cheat on your wife. Ashley Madison's yeah. for cheaters. Cheaters, oh, yeah. It's cheaters. Cheaters. Super cheating. Can you believe that? that, that so it's like, of course I can believe that. No, I mean, Have that, you met people? No, 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 no. Are you steeped in the human no, condition? No, 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 but how brazen it is, and it's just like, yeah, we're just going to break up families. I okay. thought Happy Madison. No, that doesn't stuff break that, up a family. There's People stuff that's out there. Yeah, there's Grinder and the, the other one. Well, the, the you act like one. cheating on a spouse Tinder. breaks up a family. Tinder, yeah. <laughs> Typically <laughs> it does, I would Typically? say. Typically? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm naive. I am a little naive. I don't know. know. That's uh, you're. I mean, I like you watch too much Sopranos, man. That's the problem. I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to hold on to the, to the uh, nuclear ideal just as, like, as much as everybody else. But right. no, I don't. Look, 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 look. I agree that I don't think they were gonna. Wait, where are we? Where are we? How do we end I up here? That, I agree. Thank that, you, actually, that, Madison. I think we're I think we're polyamorous people at heart, and I think that marriage sure. is, is something that we just came up with, and we just went, went along with. It's great for taxes, and it's great for taxes. But <laughs> taxes. I think if you're gonna make that commitment, fucking hold up that commitment, you asshole. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. Sure, that's what and I'm everybody's saying. Everybody's and everybody's right, allowed to have an opinion about. Well, it. You said it. We're holding it to you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, hold it to you, man. Oh yeah, we're all gonna be there, and you're gonna say you're gonna say those things in front of your friends and family, and you better fucking. If I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, Paul. Or 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 else, Paul. Nothing will happen if you don't do that no, when are you gonna marry <laughs> no. man my beliefs are this and if i go against them no, nothing will happen i'm going to find this podcast because <laughs> that's that's how i'm gonna works. say paul right here at this moment you swore an oath <laughs> you swore an oath uh, so you speak Internet words into a microphone us? your body swears an oath yeah your body made a promise <laughs> i let you come in me <laughs> dude just driving paul into a wall <laughs> i laid there and let you come in me <laughs> <laughs> i came to you and 
<laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. And you on. came in me. <laughs> How many times do you have to say the word come in order to qualify for PAX? <laughs> <laughs> for the podcast at PAX. Welcome well, to the callback cast. A hundred times in the first 15 seconds. I heard that. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's back. It's back. We did it. We did. It. We brought it uh, back. Full circle. So I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what do you think? I would continue. I, yeah. you know, play every once in a while. It's a I'm game. game. I'm game ten. You don't <laughs> do that. I'm. Con- I'd continue this okay. game. Yeah, Thank it's you. pretty fun. I'd like to keep going. See where, mm-hmm. see where this ride takes me. Probably to space. Probably mm-hmm. to Revan Town. Yep. I spent ten dollars on it. I'll continue. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a fun game. I think it's five on uh, PlayStation. Is it? Mm-hmm. Damn it! I bought it on PC because I thought it was the same everywhere. So I was like, oh, I'll just might as well get it on PC. Why are you I made, stupid? Just made all the wrong choices. Because mm-hmm. yeah. Paul loves his PC. And I do. Milk. Yep. I do. And milk. His graphically milk. glitched milk. PC Thimbles of version. milk. I'm gonna go lay on my pillow. <laughs> pillow <laughs> now. My pillow. Lay my pillow. You right. gonna eat a salad? A salad. My Paul, I'm glad on. we had stuff to talk about with this game. <laughs> Me too. I know. I really I, like yep. the. Paper thin level of the story made me nervous that it would for be playing like, this much into it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, ah. but I think I'm hoping that there's a little bit more of a turn for it because mm-hmm. just the way that people are so passionate about it. it. I don't Calling think it right now, right I know. I I agree with you. Revan. Things will happen. Just play the game. Just play the game. It it's a it's a good game. Are we going to do a second part? Yeah, yeah. We, we all continue. We're going to keep okay. going. Yeah, I'm just guessing. I'm I would like to say guessing, this. Asking. I would love to see if someone would take the time and put together a pie chart for me. Of how much time we spent <laughs> talking about the game. Oh God! This episode Not versus much. versus how much time we spent on tangents. You mean I, you mean this game? Because no, Mike talked a lot about other games, no, but mean, not a lot about this game. No, but I just mean I played a lot of games, and it's a video game podcast. <laughs> I'm not no, faulting him. Just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude, I'm just Here's kidding. What I'm saying, I just, I, I love the way we do the podcast. I don't really care. That I think we, this is a good we, episode, we, guys. We, High five. Riff and, and do all kinds of crazy shit because it's my favorite part of doing this. Yeah. But man. I really like to see a breakdown one day of like the the tangent. Uh, well, we had the map. We had the map that or... remember the 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 map that went yeah, so around. Yeah, we made like a cloud a map. Cloud it was the thing. family circus map, and it was us oh. meandering <laughs> through all the different <laughs> points. Right. Yeah. We used to have the uh, the bingo card. Yeah, we had the bingo card. We used to wait for the podcast. Yeah. We used the to do. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so fun. Yeah, <laughs> man, I love the, I love the way we do the show. And yeah, the, man, the no diggity. It. It so, some days I'm like, man. Did we actually talk about? This? Yeah, <laughs> free association, <laughs> true polymaths. We got there. I love we it. got yeah. there. I, I can't wait leading for the up next to episode. it. It's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. I looked at my like page of notes and I was like, I wrote down like twelve things. I hope. Uh, <laughs> I hope other people. I have hope other say. people have something to do. Uh, I got my jokes in. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest. With you. I told Josh this uh, before we came to. I was like, uh, I really wanted to contextualize the game in some way, other than just like, yeah, you go this far and you do this stuff. So I was like. Let me talk about when it came out and what other games were out. I was working at a game store at the time. Yeah, Somebody right. recommended glad, this game to me. I'm glad that you did that because um, I this is a period of games that I was actually a little out of games from mm. about 2002 to like 2006. This I kind of was, was right like, when I was getting back in the game. Yeah, this is right just, when I stopped playing Counter Strike, so I started playing yeah. other games. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I was like strictly PC games. I, <laughs> Xbox. One was or, 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 <laughs> sorry, regular <laughs> Xbox. No, regular Xbox was like sort of the period that I kind of like glossed right. over. Tell, like tell me milk again. Tell me like milk again. I like milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just remember uh, this guy I worked with who was big on games, read all the reviews and everything. Yeah, just you know, total encyclopedic knowledge of like everything that was out and everything. Just a total industry diehard. And he was like, uh, he's like, man, Angel of Darkness sucks. Play this game instead. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. And uh, that's how I came across it. It wasn't like, you know, I was like, oh, this is a gem- diamond in the rough. I'm going to find out about this because 10 years from now I'm going to talk right. about it on a mm-hmm. podcast <laughs> and be the OG hipster of this fucking game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like, cult classic, man. Yeah, you know, it's a cult classic. Cl- baby. This is a modern, you did it. modern you did cult it. classic, <laughs> Nick. Oh if there ever was one. I hope I get strep throat next week. <laughs> because, because there are definitions to words we have to adhere to. <laughs> so it's a cult classic. Uh, it's, mm-hmm. it's a good game. It's a good game a good that game. not a lot of people played, and hopefully they get turned on to it. Yeah, it's a cold class. And they come fuck me, you know? <laughs> that's, that's, that's all. Just lay there. Make sure just, just, if I lay there, it's not, it's not, it's, it's it's not legal. It's the Blade Runner there. of Ubisoft's catalog. I will give you that. That's actually a really good analogy, because that's about as... Yeah. Compared to Rayman, oh yeah. <laughs> and Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I'll tell you what, man. I was a little afraid it was going to be like that kind of game, like a Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, like Rayman. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought it was like going to be like, and I was like, oh no. And then it started. May I submit being for someday? I ninja. The, okay. I ni- I ninja. Yeah, uh, it's all right. Because it's a fun yeah. game to play. 
Maybe we could do like a play some fun games, like some silly games. There's nothing too high oh, right. Billy West does we, all the voices. We're not playing fun enough games for you, motherfucker. <laughs> you get the butterfly robots in half as a little ninja. Man. Ninja, oh, you want to play fun games? Let's play God of War. Oh, I remember. Yeah, is that, wait, is that Fruit Ninja? Is that what that it's exactly Let's like play Fruit Jack Ninja. Jack and Daxter. That's what I'm saying. Like games Jack like that. Maybe we could play like a oh, well. Man. Jack and Daxter is pretty good. A good story too. Is it? I feel like that and like Crash Bandicoot or, or not Crash. No, Bandicoot. it's different. What's the, it's the first Crash? Jack and Daxter. No, what's the so that's it. Banjo Kazooie. Like I have no interest. No, that's Banjo Kazooie is amazing. No, get out of my face. I hate it. I hate it. I hate what? You, I hate everybody Dude, any of those it. N64 3D cool. games, they just cool. make me sick to my everybody, stomach. It's great. Oh, Come fuck me, Paul. It's <laughs> a great <laughs> part. <laughs> I heard that. Nick, I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> Nothing. I was just talking what, that under, era of, under you. That, uh, that, that, well, speak over me. That uh, era of N64 games? Impossible. <laughs> yeah, I don't like N64 games. I just All those like 3D ones, they just make me sick to my stomach. I, just, I agree. Not, I like, not sick, from yeah. motion sickness, but just from like... The people Visuals. who like it and <laughs> thinking, about, thinking about them and what they smell like. Oh my god! No, no. I didn't say that. I didn't like, say that. I'm one of them. <laughs> no, I'm sure those games are good. I'm they sure, just, I'm they just, just like. Just I feel like the N64 is just like the the C stick is just so like clunky. You know what I mean? It's it's like the 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 fucking. It's like driving a Model T. You know what? It, you got that you dust in it. You got that fun. dust when you like started <laughs> it got spinning that dust it. In it. Oh, it's I love that. It's a mechanical. It's a mechanism. It's a it's a lever. Yeah, but compared you look at it, it's a fucking. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. lift a boulder with that. Thing. It's a stick glued like attached to another. You're moving to a ball. It's like a shift yeah, to a ball. But like yeah. you don't drive a stick. Compared shift. to my automatic shifter car, right. it's great, man. They're very luxury. Sometimes you like to drive. Uh, sometimes you, you gotta feel the mechanism. Yeah, feel sometimes you can drive that. Yeah, <laughs> I drive it all the time because I know how to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not that I don't know how to. It's just that's well, here, go I'm take not. my keys. Drive my car. <laughs> Dude, no, I, never mind. I want, I want my car to work. Paul, I missed that. Oh, I almost missed that entire generation. I didn't play Ocarina of Time until like '99 or maybe 2000 right. when somebody like sold me their N64 for 40 bucks right and i just i had no i had no interest in in playing the n64 3d platform because i played mario 64 and i was like i don't, do I don't get like, it like i don't get it like i just i played that and i was like i don't get it man did you like, like uh mario galaxy at all yeah, did you like i never mario played galaxy those games wow. never played it did you like zelda uh which ones i love the original no, one. I, I played it all weekend hmm? ocarina of time i do like ocarina of time i think it's a great game i think it's an a plus a 10 out of 10 i don't think it's the game of the century i don't think it set a gold standard I think it's a really great game. I think it was the introduction. Without that game, we wouldn't have this Shut game. Shut the fuck up, Luke. <laughs> I think, I think right. that He's game, right. No, he's wrong. Without Mario 64, we wouldn't have Ocarina of Time. There is a forerunner to it. And there were other games. I agree with that. No. Mario 64 was a, a 3D game, yes, in the sense that now that's how they said, okay, now we can make a 3D Zelda but to say that Mario 64 and, and Zelda right. are the same is... All right, I rescind my point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I submit. But, uh, you know, I just I think that that was the first time that a lot of kids uh, were exposed to that type of game. And right. that's why they loved it so much. Just like how when we were all 15, we played Final Fantasy VII. So it's the greatest game ever. It's just right. because everything meant so much to us when we were teenagers. It, yeah, it everything was laden with ever, hormones. Yeah. Right, and yeah. everything means a lot to you when you're a teenager. And it's like, well... Everything is the most important thing right, ever. You go back and yeah. play that game, you're like, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it's melodramatic as fuck, and you're like, oh, okay. okay. But melodrama speaks to you when you're that age because okay. you want it. That's what you it's, it's deep and yeah. complex. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? It's no Metal Gear. It's no, no, met- it's no Metal Gear. We pr- ripped we, me we apart. We did that, man. And, and it did. It, it really got to me, and I love it. It's a fun game to play. It yeah. has lasted longevity. This game mm-hmm. does, too. It got a HD remake eight years after it came out. Yeah. Because it's a cult classic, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you say so, internet. Right. Whatever. Let's do some five stars. Not my stars. Car you, do some, you guys want to hear what people have to say about yeah. us? That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Five star chick. People say nice things about us. Five star contest. You in first place. D Nubs wrote. Continue, of course. Uh, he's using that as a play on the our oh, name. When he actually used the question mark. I see. Mm-hmm. He has really nice things to say. A bountiful blend of topics mixed with marvelous Murat. Marvelous myriad of media curated by the captivating cast of Continue. Alliteration aside, this podcast hooked me in, hooked me in instantly. While they oh, meander, God. Paul, Nick, and Josh, and their special guests have found their rhythm with this volatile podcast formula. This should be on the bo- the box for That's our. Good. Just call Dude, me autistic. Good, um, <laughs> it's just the right balance of laid back comedy, critical analytic discussion, and just four guys hanging out, which is just the right thing to get me through my day. That was a really nice one. That I like nice. this. Silver kid. Ward wrote, "Awesome podcast." Sweet. Booger Tit 69 wrote, uh, yes. you got any gum? Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you got any gum? You got any gum? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, 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 uh, you got any gum? 
Kyle Govier wrote cheesy vagina. Yo 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 yo. <laughs> That's my favorite. That one. guy was playing Counter Strike, probably. <laughs> Jesus. Thread. He was, he was playing uh, that Moon game from NASA. Oh, dude, yeah, <laughs> the, the John Madden, Madden one. Uh, John Madden. <laughs> Thread three. Sh- uh, show eat podcast. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Uh, and da- Dasa Penis. Uh, he also said Dasa that. Penis. Withering Sanity wrote. Uh, you us? don't need a review. You oh. just need five shiny oh, yeah. stars. What's that? I was trying. I was like that. That's a penis. I was trying to figure out if that was. Because we were playing the uh, Charlie Blast. You're like, yeah, that's, you're a, like, that's, that's a penis. penis. <laughs> you're hanging out John too much. Uh, yeah. Yep, I have been. <laughs> Goomers and Lel. We will always. And oh, it's. A, I thought he was just writing Lel, L E L L. You know, like Lel. But he was writing and I E I will always love you. Oh, he's singing. Oh, you're singing to us. Oh. My thinker wrote, <laughs> "Continue nips better than a blumpkin." Ginger Daywalker. A lot of things are better than blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, much. Like, like not some. a <laughs> <laughs> Start with there. Slave Leia wrote, uh, read me dot TXT. These guys are worse than lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Slave Leia, you're right. That's what we said before, isn't it? Yep. I'm pretty sure to we be, said we're, before. We're, we're, that wasn't an episode of continue. being on continue. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> That's funny. I get it now. <laughs> that's funny. I get it. the joke about us. I get, Very the good, thing, I get the thing we said one time. That I don't uh, it's like Paul. Hey, I saw this Star Wars special. <laughs> I just, it's funny. It was really, really well I done. Just, yeah, Paul, we made that five I, years ago. I was talking to John this what weekend about fuck? that. Yo, Dude, I was talking you to didn't John. hear that? No. no it was oh on the God. podcast. We were, like, we were talking about, like, oh, that's holiday time. It's going to be really good. Yeah, I remember seeing this, like, Star Wars holiday no, thing. The one you edited? No, it was specifically the part... <laughs> Look at his with, face. No, Look at his face. It was yeah. specifically the part from Empire <laughs> yeah. with uh, that we mixed with the the abominable, the abominable snowman. snowman. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, he was like, I saw this clip of like Luke Skywalker fighting the abominable snowman, and like, all of so us were funny. like, Oh, you guys. I said, I said it was really funny. It was really funny. <laughs> Like, yeah, like legit, we, like like that's what dude, you're saying. Like space weed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke space weed every day, man. Dude, I was I was showing John that video this week. You see this? Weekend. I don't know who made this, but it's oh really good. I, I showed it to him, and I was like, "Oh yeah, one time I forgot that we did this part." <laughs> and, so and he was like, "You really forgot that?" And I was like, "Yep." That was like, the only time I've ever been out in the wild, just out in the world, and some friend of a friend was like talking to me, like, "Oh, you about?" And it's, he's like, "He's like my friend tells me you work on the internet." I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, he's like, yeah, I saw this really funny video, and he he described to me the Star Wars Christmas yeah. special. That's funny. And I was like, like my friends made that where I work. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, what? And I was like, no, yeah, that's my friends like made that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it was really awesome. Uh, one last one, Billy Bob five 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 four marriage. <laughs> I love this podcast. If I could legally marry this podcast, I would not. I would have to send it away because it is too good for me. Mm. P.S. That Josh guy did an adequate job as special guest. You should have him on again when Mike isn't available. Aww, oh, that's that's nice. fine with me. Oh, when Mike isn't available. <laughs> <laughs> too bad, dude. I'm available all the time. That's the problem. Uh, he can't... Listen, you're, you're a better guy than that. You deserve good. You can marry Continue Cast. You can, don't send it away. It It'll fly back to you because you truly love don't it. Don't send it away unless it's pregnant and it's not married yet. I don't know. I don't know this guy that well to say that. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Um, Who, make a me? Promise yeah. this guy. He said, don't, you know, you saying this guy's too good. Like, we're too good. No, maybe I didn't say are. He says he, he, yeah. that continue yeah, too what, good. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. I'm saying maybe he's right. No. I might be down for, like, a Paul marriage where I get to bang no. other people. <laughs> that's a non-Paul marriage. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's an right, anti-Paul right. principle marriage. A non-Paul marriage. <laughs> Today's podcast was sponsored by AshleyMadison.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to play. Penis. <laughs> We're going to come back to, uh, to be, uh, Beyond Good and Evil then one more time at least. Uh, so uh, if you haven't, send in your thoughts to continuepodcast.gmail.com. Send your emails to, to continue. your dear friend, continue. <laughs> send them in. Send today. Yeah. Send right away. Send right away. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll read them on the show. Uh, and, uh, you know, I guess we'll, we'll go into this. And I don't, Is there anything else we want to talk about? Are we done? Are we done here? I don't know. I think we covered the entire gamut of human creation. <laughs> yeah, today, we, so. that, that's the whole human condition. We did a lot of podcasts. Got Nietzsche in there. Yeah, we got uh, we got Ashley Madison. Got Pussy Lips. Talked milk. About Pax. <laughs> milk and a thimble. Talked about Pax. Pax. Is that really their rule? That's a rule. That's that they a rule for the. Wow. What does it even mean? A, I don't. Well, understand it means what, exactly what yeah, it says. Why is that they a have rule? Standards. Because, well, they, they, because they, then you could say I'm on this podcast, and it's like, well, if you're if you don't say the oh, name, like, who's see. on the podcast, and if you're are they, they run checking? it once? If you're yeah, on it once, you mean they're gonna check? They're, yeah, they checked us too. They we we got like media badges, and there's like a 
certain amount of like, like level. Josh, yeah, yeah, there's like a certain level you have to be at before you they'll give you a media. This is why I'm friends with Josh. Josh laid on me, brother. You gotta have fifty K subscribers as a YouTube yeah, channel. Right. Who the fuck gives a shit about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the entire right, industry. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Who, who cares? Okay. And then what? And then what happens? They're going to call the police. Nothing, it's just, it's just they're going to call whether or not if you're you not on the podcast as a member of the media. Yeah, you or don't not. have to go That's to PAX. All. You don't have to prove yourself to PAX, dude. This is video game McCarthyism. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Yo, I got to fill out all kinds of paperwork. I got to like tax IDs and all kinds of shit. <laughs> what happens at PAX? Crazy. Everything happens at PAX. Uh, that was I, 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 <laughs> everything. <laughs> this is like the third time I've been. This like, is like the, the third time we started the show up again. <laughs> yeah, after we've ended. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome right. to the continue cast. Goodbye, friends. Thank you for listening to the continue cast. Our theme music is written and performed by Chris Connolly, aka Datacats. Check out his Facebook page at facebook.com slash datacats. The continue cast is produced by Paul Ritchie, Nick Murphy, Josh Henderson, and our special guest, Luke Brown. Email us at continuepodcast at gmail.com. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash continueshow. And follow us on Twitter at continueshow. <laughs>